that that an A-plus roofing and exteriors at Hazard and Lexington. With so many choices for your prescriptions, it's important to have a pharmacy that's focused on you. At Harold Clinic Pharmacy, their focus is on filling your prescription, taking time to answer any concerns you may have, and making sure that your medication is working for you. At Harold Clinic Pharmacy, patient consultation is always first, along with convenience. That's why when you're on the road, Harold Clinic Pharmacy has a quick lane drive through now, the new location with user access on US 23. That's Harold Clinic Pharmacy, across the Harold Bridge. The more, the more you, you listen, listen, the, the more, more you love WMDJ. Hey, 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 Thank <laughs> you. 
Season of high school football at FM 100 WMDJ. It is our Appalachian Wireless Game of the Week, presented by Appalachian Wireless. We are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. Coming to you from Floyd Central High School tonight on a beautiful night for a kickoff. It is Floyd Central hosting Paintsville here on WMDJ. I'm Jamie, I'm Jamie Johnson, Johnson joined, joined by a full production crew tonight. tonight. <laughs> <laughs> we, have we have been full of ESPN, ESPN tonight, tonight with, all with all kinds of graphics and, and camera, camera angles, and angles and everything else. We have a crew, crew of four working this game, this game tonight, tonight for football, and, and we, hope we hope to give, give you a great visual, visual presentation, presentation along with the usual audio presentation, presentation that we do on the radio side. It's pretty exciting for a radio guy like me to do this kind of video production, so it's all thanks to Josh McKinney. He's done a fantastic job to work work and upgrade, upgrade video, video production, production for our home games, games and away games, games this year. And, and a great, great crew. crew. Another, Another season, season is upon us. us. The, the sun is going, going down, down and, and the football will be in the air momentarily. momentarily. Josh, Josh, also uh, so Matt, Matt Johnson, Johnson on the camera, camera tonight. tonight. And, and beside, beside me this evening on color, color commentary, commentary is Byron, Byron Hall. Good evening, Byron. Good evening, Jamie. Glad to be here for another exciting year of football action. We are, we are excited, excited indeed, indeed to get another, another season, season rolling. rolling. And of, course, of course, these two teams are getting, getting off, off to a good start this season. season. Boyd, Boyd Central, Central coming in, in off of a 2-9 two two and and campaign, campaign last year, but essentially, but essentially a winless season, season due to uh, the two, uh, two technicality wins, wins they got before a forfeit and a, a, a COVID out game. game. They're, they're looking, looking to make some noise. Maybe turn some heads and surprise some people this year. Yeah, I mean, it's a good like we mentioned earlier. They have a lot of players returning. That, that, you know, you know we, we actually know names, names. we, we ain't got to look up uh, uh, who they, they are. are. We, we have seen, seen these kids for a couple, couple years now. now. So, so and you, and you, and made, you made a good point of this, this is something that you like to see. This gives, gives you some op op optimism going forward. forward. Uh, uh, speaking, speaking from, from a coaching, coaching standpoint, standpoint, I know, I know every, every time I bring back a couple players, a key players off a roster, that is always very optimistic early on. Paintsville comes in tonight 6-6 six and six off of last season. First-year head coach Trevor Hoskins taking the reins of a state championship program. After Joe Cherico left the program to go to Clark County, Hoskins, his first coaching job, steps in. They go 6-6, six and six, kind of had their ups and downs, got off to a tough start. They have a tough schedule this year as well uh, to begin things on the uh, return games from last year's schedule. And they're looking to uh, turn the corner and get off to a better start this year. Yeah, I mean, we've seen them a couple times, and you, you could see they have some talent. Uh, you know, you question maybe their depth uh, against, you know, in certain spots, and are they going to be able to keep up with deeper teams here going forward? Paintsville finished 6-6 six and six last season. They also finished in the second round of the playoffs, falling to district rival Raceland. Of course, this year that won't happen in the first two rounds as we're back to cross-district playoff games the way that I think fans and coaches really want it to be, and we're back to doing that this year. So that creates a different dynamic for all teams when it comes to the postseason. But we're only on opening night. It's kickoff tonight <laughs> here on WMDJ. And our pregame show tonight brought your way by Howard Family Pharmacy, where pharmacists Wes Howard, Tiffany Jacobs, John Newsom, and Taryn Castle are there to help you. They'll help you six days a week. You can call them up at 358-4800 or 874-4800. Quality care and service where it's always about family. That's Howard Family Pharmacy. Counting you down the kickoff 25 minutes away. We'll be back in two minutes on WMDJ Sports. 
everybody, Dave Baker here for Citizens Bank of Kentucky. You know that old saying, the time is money? Well, it's true. How about putting extra cash in your pocket each month by refinancing with new low rates at CDK? All you have to do is log on to wearecitizen.bank. Hi, everybody. Dave Baker here for Citizens Bank of Kentucky. The next time you see someone smiling while they're driving their car, well, it's probably because they just took advantage of the new low interest rate at CDK. What are you waiting for? Log on to wearecitizen.bank and start smiling. Loans are subject to credit approval and equal housing lender. Member FDIC. When you need to know about your medications, it's important to know your pharmacist. Chris Howard, Tiffany Jacobs, John Newsom, and Terry Castle at Howard Family Pharmacy, your community health mark pharmacy, will always take time for you. And it's more convenient now than ever to fill your prescriptions. Simply use their free mobile app or log on to HowardFamilyPharmacy.com. Quality care and service, where it's always about family. That's Howard Family Pharmacy of Allen and Eastern. Health Mart, taking the time to listen and care. Come and see us this month at Hutchford. We have a brand new model starting as low as $21,990. We also have some great one of a kind pre owns to choose from. And we want your trade. You bring your car, you bring your title, and leave with a check. Give us a call, Downtown Paintsville, 606 789 5301, or check us out on the web at hutchford.com. Community Trust Bank is pleased to announce that all of our branch office lobbies are now open during regular business hours. We remain committed to the health and safety of our community and are committed to maintaining a safe environment for both our employees and our customers. The drive through at all of our branches remain open during regular business hours. You can also make an appointment with our staff by calling your local branch. For location, hours, and phone number of your local branch, please visit our website, ctbi.com. Community Trust Bank, building communities built on trust. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. Live and local, there's only one WMDJ. Back on the Howard Family Pharmacy pregame show tonight where it is opening night for high school football, not just here but all across the state tonight. But two games last night happened. Two or three? Two. Two. Two, two last night. Uh, there's a couple. There's a handful tomorrow night as well I looked at. Yeah, one locally, uh, Pike Central hosting Pendleton County, which – uh, you can't get there from here in in one evening, so that's no. why they're playing on Saturday. Don't 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 blame them. Have to get up. That's an eight o'clock start time. Yeah, foul mouth to <laughs> Pike Central. It's a little trip, you know, to get over there and everything. But a uh, good time tonight here at Floyd Central. A lot of optimism, of course. Obviously, always that 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 first game feeling. You got to love that first game feeling. Oh yeah, you got got a little bit of the jitters, but you're so excited uh, to be here to be ready to play. Uh, you just can't can't match what it feels like. Tonight is the Armed Forces First Responders Bowl here tonight. And uh, Floyd Central and Prestonsburg and Betsy Lane are observing this tonight. Of course, the Black Cats and Bobcats are playing each other in Prestonsburg. And they're calling that the Black and Blue Bowl. And they ask that Betsy Lane wear blue and Prestonsburg wear black, their fans. And, of course, not only for the support of their teams, but to honor the Black and Blue which is a wonderful idea uh, down there tonight with those two teams to make that happen. And here tonight, first responders and members of the armed forces get free entry into yeah. tonight's game, and, uh, and rightfully so. Of course, we all know about the long summer we've had for first responders in Floyd County uh, on top of the flooding that we have ever experienced over the last month. Uh, tonight is a much-needed mental break and to have some normalcy. Uh, in our lives, and I think a lot of folks have looked forward to this night for many different reasons, including just to take a mental break and enjoy each other and enjoy some football, win yeah, or lose. I mean, it's as good as it comes. Uh, it, everybody can kind of come and take your minds off everything and just worry about the game for, you know, just a couple hours. Uh, you can't put a price on that sometimes. Floyd Central comes in with a like said, a record of 2-9 and nine from last season. They're looking to bounce back after a slow decline the past four seasons. An eight-win campaign in 2017. The wins have dropped off five, three, two, and then essentially zero uh, last year. The two wins beat on technicalities. but And there's nowhere to go it up. And we mentioned on the onset, when you have this much returning talent, you got to feel good about where you are if you're Coach Hager. And we had a chance to talk to him earlier this week, and he's uh, quietly confident about what his team can do here on the field tonight. Yeah, I mean, like we said, there's – you got a bunch of returners. 
you know, they showed signs last year of uh, of making very good strides. And like you said, return a bunch of kids, you have to feel optimistic, but you don't want to feel too optimistic just because of the way the season went last year. You lose one offensive lineman, you lose one fullback. The good news is you're bringing the rest of that line back. And that's where this starts for Floyd Central and their offense where they'll try to run a, a ball control scheme tonight to keep the ball as much as possible with three- and four-yard increments and lull their opponent to sleep. It works if you don't turn the ball over. Well, that's always – that's been the big bugaboo that's bothered them for the last few years is ball security. If you can't keep a hold of the ball – it does you no good to play that ball control style. You know, the good thing about this team, and Coach Hager even said this, all, there's newcomers that have challenged for – there's newcomers that have challenged for starting spots. That's an awesome thing. A competition breeds success. Absolutely, every single time. Some of those names that you will hear, skill players tonight, seniors Max Martin – Blake Adams, Sheston Johnson, Adams and Johnson in the backfield. Bryce Thacker at the fullback position has a key component to the offense and many other names you'll hear tonight. Uh, Brody Buck, B.J. Peterson at wide receiver. Cole Lafferty, Colt Shelton, and Jace Martin are some names I think you're going to hear a lot this season for the Floyd Central Jaguars and success in winning. Well, I mean, if you, the more names you can call that are contributing in positive ways, the better this team is because it is adding depth. I mean, you just mentioned four or five kids that we haven't been calling their names. If you can m mention those kids, that is some added depth that is going to do nothing but help this Floyd Central team. The Jaguars are 3-2 and two all time in home openers. Lost to East Ridge last season, 42-34. I would almost call that game uh, a bloop uh, as to what happened last season. Uh, the other loss was to Clay County, and that was just – they, they whipped us. That was that was yeah. a rough game. Uh, but now last year, kind of a blip, uh, wasn't ready. COVID and things like that kind of slowing the team's preparedness for that game last year. Coming in tonight, maybe they sneak up on Paintsfield. We're going to find out here in just a little bit. Of course, left Beaver and right Beaver teams have some history with Paintsville over the years. And there's also a story about Paintsville when you go back, way <laughs> back, way back when, that changed the landscape of high school football, not just here locally, but across the entire state. Josh McKinney is going to tell you about that in a special flashback rewind segment here in just a little bit. But I was looking today, South Floyd was 2-15 and 15 all time against Paintsville, 2-15. and 15. Allen Central was 2-19 and 19 all time. The wins for those teams came in 2009 and 2011 for Allen Central and then I think uh, 2003 and four for South Floyd. It's been a while. It's been a few a few minutes. Yeah. Not a lot of success against Paintsville. Of course, a tradition-rich team, and we'll see what happens tonight. I, I just got this feeling. I mean, it's I got this feeling tonight. Excited for a new season. Excited to see this game uh, and see the way it plays out here. Should be exciting. We'll find out more on the way. As we said, we'll come back, and you're going to hear from Josh McKinney in his flashback rewind segment in two minutes as we continue the county down the kickoff 17 minutes away. The Howard Family Pharmacy pregame show continues on WMDJ Sports. Adelaide Tomorrow it says a plan to make your life simpler. It's called Forward Pay. No contract, no credit check, no problem. Plans start at $19.99 a month and includes unlimited talk and text. Add 3 gigabytes of data, $29.99 per month. 6 gigabytes, $39.99 per month. Or take it to the max with unlimited data plus. Just $89.99 per month with 50 gigabytes of high-speed data. All the features of post-paid service without a long-term commitment. It's Forward Pay because we are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. Data plus, plus one megabyte per second. That's 50 gigabytes of use. You want the value, you want the savings, all the selection that you're looking for. We got the service to teach you better. Come on and see your thing. Patriot RV of Preston Spurn is your RV headquarters and more. In fact, we are authorized dealer for Club Car Golf Cart. Club Car is America's premier line of golf carts, and you'll find a huge selection in all styles and colors. There's zero percent financing available for 48 months for qualified buyers. Patriot RV, US 23 in Prestonsburg. 
Remote work and learning require a dependable internet connection. Dear Heart Broadband understands how important staying connected is and wants to provide you with dependable high-speed internet with speed up to 1 gig. It's perfect for homes with multiple users and numerous devices and now has Wi-Fi 6 available. Find out more today at imctv.com or give us a call at 606-478-9406. Remember, better broadband means better lives. Hi, Kenny Rice here for A-Plus Roofing and Exteriors. Are you needing to improve your home or business exterior? Let the pros at A-Plus Roofing and Exteriors help. They specialize in roof replacement and will work with your insurance when it comes to wind or hail damage. A-Plus Roofing can also replace or repair gutters and siding. They have over a decade of experience to handle your job correctly and efficiently. Contact Travis Francis for a free estimate at 606-791-4226 or visit A-Plus Roofing K. Com. That's A-plus roofing and exteriors of Hazard and Lexington. Live and local, there's only one WMDJ. Welcome back to the Howard Family Pharmacy pregame show where we are continuing to count you down to kickoff between the Floyd Central Jaguars and the Paintsville Tigers. It is time now for this week's Floyd County football flashback. <laughs> This week, we travel back to the fall of 1977. Coach Don Daniels and his Wheelwright Trojans had just beat Jenkins 54-22 to finish the season 7-2 and in the process secure what they thought would be a berth in the Class A playoffs with a perfect 7-0 district record. Unfortunately for the Trojans, Paintsville also finished the season with an undefeated district record and despite playing three fewer district games than Coach Daniels' team, the identical perfect winning percentage meant the two teams were tied atop Class 1A Region 4 District 2. At that time, tiebreakers were determined by a Dickinson system, which combined the total wins of the top four district teams you beat. Will Wright's best four wins in district came against Jenkins, Phelps, Fleming Neon, and Virgie, who combined for 19 wins. Paintsville beat Jenkins, Elkhorn City, and Mullins, who totaled 10 wins, but the Tigers were allowed to count 2A opponent Pikeville as their fourth district game, allowing them to include the Panthers' 10 victories to their tie-breaking total, giving them 20, and the edge over the Trojans. Coach Daniels filed a lawsuit against the Kentucky High School Athletic Association and was awarded a hearing by a Lexington judge. The KHSAA appealed the ruling by Judge N. Mitchell Meade, but the appeal was denied, meaning Wheelwright would have its case heard by the KHSAA. However, Daniel's appeal for a one-game playoff with Paintsville was denied by the KHSAA, giving Coach Walter Brew and the Tigers the district championship and ultimate berth in the Class A playoffs, where it lost to Pineville in the first round. If there was one positive thing that came from Will Wright's unfortunate controversy with the KHSAA 45 years ago, the KHSAA did eventually change its rules to say that in order for a team to be eligible for the postseason, it must play every other team in its district. Will Wright would get its battle with Paintsville two years later, losing to the Tigers 52 to nothing. In fact, the Trojans never beat Paintsville consolidating with McDowell in 1993, 0-18 all-time versus the Tigers. Back with more of the Howard Family Pharmacy pregame show right after this. I'm Brandon Bradley. My mommies want me to do the right things even when it's hard. As Floyd District Judge, addicts are not going to get a slap on the wrist. If you get busted with dope, you've got a problem, and you're either going to sit in jail or get help. Real recovery takes time. You can't walk 40 miles into the wilderness and walk 5 miles and get out. As a public defender, I have seen every trick in the book. I'm not just on the ballot. I'm on a mission to make a difference, but I can't do it alone. I need your help. If you're as fed up with dope in Floyd County as I am, show up on November 8th and vote Brandon Bradley for Floyd District Judge. Make word, I'm Brandis Bradley. 
Want to know the secret to a healthy smile? You won't find it in a bottle. The secret is found in simple, everyday brushing, crossing, and regular checkups with Martin Dentistry. Recently voted as the best dentist in Floyd County, Dr. Stacy Martin offers preventative general dentistry treatments and checkups to patients of all ages. Martin Dentistry would like to thank their patients for their trust, and they look forward to serving you for years to come. Call for an appointment, 285-9444. For Martin Dentistry. Hi everybody, Dave Baker here for my friends at Total Pharmacy Care. Now, in today's world, people like to multitask. We all think all people, not the folks at Total Pharmacy Care. 100% of their time is dedicated to filling your prescriptions and making sure all your questions are answered. After all, it's your health and you're worth it. Tell your doctor to send your prescriptions to Total Pharmacy Care. Five convenient locations, Piper, Prestonburg, Martin, Belfry, and Phillips. Total Pharmacy Care. It's not just a name. It's a promise. Parkview Pharmacy at Minnie takes pride in being committed to the community. Pharmacist Valerie Akers and Christy Moore understand your time is valuable, which is why Parkview Pharmacy offers free delivery service for your prescriptions. The next time you stop in, ask about online refills for faster service and pick up one of those wonderful Candlebear candles. Parkview Pharmacy at Minnie, 377-2117. Committed to our community. When it comes to keeping your home cool this summer, don't sweat it. Right now, Elliott Heating and Cooling is offering six months, zero interest, with no monthly payments, same as cash. Offer good now through the end of summer. One call and your worries are gone. 437-7368. A name you can always count on. Circuit Court Clerk, Douglas Ray Hall, with my message to all student athletes in Floyd County. It's been said that others may have more talent than you, but remember, there's no excuse for anyone to work harder than you do. Remember that every champion was once only a contender. Be confident, take risks, and know that failure and rejection are the first steps to success. Good luck to all Floyd County schools from your Circuit Court Clerk, Douglas Ray Hall. Live and local, there's only one WMDJ. Welcome back to the Howard Family Pharmacy Free Game Show on WMDJ Sports. Floyd Central and Paintsville getting set to kick off at eight minutes. And we'll start the high school football season together here on a football Friday night under the lights and the sun going down over the hillside to the right. Always a beautiful setting for sports up here at Floyd Central. You can say what you want about other things about the school. I'm not a fan of the gym, but I love the athletic fields. I mean, yeah. they did the fields right. Uh, everything about it, the setting here for football, to see these mountains, the cliff on the baseball field and the softball field, you got to love all that. I, I, look, they they did not mess this part up No, up here. They, they got the fields uh, for football, baseball, softball, they got that right up here. Absolutely, indeed. We'll have the coin toss here momentarily. We'll tell you what's going on with that as we're watching this here together on WMDJ. And, of course, uh, Paintsville, as we mentioned, some names that you'll hear tonight out of the Tigers, they return. Senior quarterback A.J. James, he, he being a 1,400-yard passer last season, 15 touchdowns, 10 interceptions, 81 for 144. You'll see the ball in the air a lot tonight. That's going to be the thing. Uh, but the number that jumps out to you that you mentioned, 15 touchdown passes to 10 interceptions. So he is susceptible to a pick here and there. Yeah, I think a key tonight for Floyd Central's success would be applying pressure to James, especially when we've been kind of getting uh, scouting reports that maybe the painful line uh, it might be something of a question mark for them this year. And usually that comes in the first game of the season. So, and Floyd Central brings back a, a seasoned returning line. I think this game will be one in the trenches tonight. And if you could put some pressure on the quarterback, you're going to have a chance in this game tonight to get some defensive stops, which is something we haven't seen a lot of up here in a while. Well, I mean, the defensive line will be huge for Floyd Central. If, you know, if Paintsville has a weak line, if the Floyd Central defensive line can break through on just a front and minimize blitzing situations and let their front four, four or five really do the bulk of the damage, 
then that is going to be more chances, more people in coverage uh, for an interception. And I think about James, he has some targets to throw to. Austin Allen, senior wideout. Grayson Peters, senior wideout. Peyton Adams, junior wideout. And also Connor Fugit, long, lanky, senior wideout. Those are some guys that can help James when he's under duress. Well, the other thing to go along with, you know, put the pressure on him, but you have to contain him. You can't give him that edge and nobody be looking back and realizing that you have a scrambling quarterback because he has legs that can move well as well also. Of course, in the backfield, the other part of the equation is Harris Phelps, the senior running back, enjoyed a fantastic year, 1,500 yards rushing, 19 touchdowns. Get this, averaged 125 yards a game and nearly two touchdowns per contest last season. You got to keep him under 100 yards to have a win here tonight. Yeah, I mean, you have to be able to contain him and not let not let him break the big play, the big run. Keep him, you know, to three, four yards a carry, and you'll have some success against Paintsville, I believe. The officials have made it out to this, the 50-yard line, and we're going to get to have the coin toss here momentarily as we see Floyd Central marching out with Blake Adams along with Matthew Little and Bryce Thacker going out for the Jaguars. Paintsville is sending out Justin Ramey along with Connor Fugit, Harris Phelps, and also A.J. James along with Coach Trevor Hoskins, who was a standout college football player at the University of Pikeville in his second year at the helm of the Tigers. We'll see what the verdict's going to be here. There's the coin toss. And Paintsville has won the toss. And we'll see what they decide to do. I believe they deferred. So Paintsville has won the toss, and nope, they're gonna they are it. going to receive. So we'll see the Tigers on offense first. We'll come back in two minutes for the kickoff. It is our Appalachian Wireless Game of the Week on WMDJ Sports. Hello, this is Brandon Spencer, Republican candidate for state representative of the 95th District of Floyd and Pike Counties. Can you imagine one football player trying to win a game by themselves? They would never get anything done. You must have a team working together. That's why I'm asking for your vote on November the 8th. I can work with Senator Rand Paul, Senator Mitch McConnell, and Congressman Hal Rogers and the Republican-controlled House and Senate. With your vote, you'll have a team working for Floyd and Pike Counties. Paid for by Brandon Spencer. Bank is pleased to announce that all of our branch office lobbies are now open during regular business hours. We remain committed to the health and safety of our communities and are committed to maintaining a safe environment for both our employees and our customers. The drive through at all of our branches remain open during regular business hours. You can also make an appointment with our staff by calling your local branch. For location, hours, and phone number of your local branch, please visit our website, ctbi.com. Community Trust Bank, building communities built on trust. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. 
Hi, everybody. Dave Baker here for Citizens Bank of Kentucky. You want to love your car even more? How about putting extra cash in your pocket each month by refinancing with new low rates at CBK? It is fast. It's easy. All you have to do is log on to wearecitizens.bank. Hi, everybody. Dave Baker here for Citizens Bank of Kentucky. You know that old saying that time is money? Well, it's true. How about putting extra cash in your pocket each month by refinancing with new low rates at CBK? All you have to do is log on to wearecitizens.bank. Loans are subject to credit approval and equal housing lender. Member FDIC. Live and local, there's only one. WMDJ. One minute away from kickoff tonight, Floyd Central in Paintsville on WMDJ Sports. It's our Appalachian Wireless Game of the Week. Brought your way by Appalachian Wireless. We are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. Here tonight at the Armed Forces First Responders Bowl. Here tonight. Floyd Central wearing black, new black jerseys this year with gold Numerals and letters. Numbers that you can see. With the white trim around those gold numerals. You Thank can, you. You can see them. <laughs> you can see them. Got the Jaguar head on the back of the jersey. It's a nice touch. I like the, I like it better than the other one. I'm going to yep. give it an A. I like it. I'm not the biggest black on black fan, but this works for me because you can see the numbers. So, <laughs> A for me. Paintsville in the classic whites tonight, top and bottom. Blue numerals and letters, blue stripes down the side, a white helmet with a blue P. Classic look, always an A from me. How about you? Uh, definitely an A. Got the good, clean look. Uh, I, li- I like it. I like the uniforms tonight. Both sides. Absolutely. Our kicker is Carson Holbrook, junior, number 11 for Floyd Central. Left footed. <laughs> Unless he's kicking the onside. We are waiting. Hey, you said it might happen. I don't know. He'll put toe to leather, and this game is underway. Fielded back behind the 30-yard line. Paintsville's got it up to the 35. Rolling to the left, 40, 40, 50. Into Floyd Central territory and finally drug down inside the 40, down to the 39-yard line. An excellent start for Paintsville here tonight. A 30-yardish return. Uh, he caught it right around the 30, took it 30 yards. And that will set Paintsville up in Floyd Central territory. They'll actually put it down to the 40, where it will be first and 10 in our first drive tonight here on WMDJ Sports. And a nothing-nothing game just underway on the Hutchford.com scoreboard. A.J. James will come out and lead the Tigers out. Putting Connor Fugit off the field for some reason. Changing him out quickly. In favor of Peyton Adams, the junior wideout. They'll go to the white hat, stopped him, and sent him back. Man in motion from shotgun, and they'll hand, hand it off on a sweep to the left and at least five yards on that. And the carry for Austin Allen. I'll get down to the 35 yard line. And now second down at five for Pinksville. You could see James trying to sell that option uh, sweep with that because at times you'll see James keep that and be as a sneak attack. They'll set set that up a few times. You'll see them run that about two or three times before he pulls it and takes off. Two men to the right, one man left, shotgun again for James, hands it off at the middle. There's Phelps, and he'll roll it downhill for a first down, but stops at a gain of five, and that's enough, maybe six. That'll be enough for a first down, six-yard pickup for Phelps. One thing about Floyd Central's defense, they can't allow themselves to be spread out so thin that you'll have an easy access to running downhill. Well, the thing that has been their strength is up the middle runs. They've stopped that. It's allowing people to get on the edge. Uh, That's been their problem, so you don't want to spread out too thin. First and 10, ball at the 28, high snap. Hand off to Phelps up the gut. He'll get it across the 15 and down. Short gain on the play. Got a four-yard pickup on that. Down to the 24, I believe. Just underway, first drive tonight for Paintsville. Either team at the 10-12 mark. Ball now at the 24-yard line and second and six. They'll roll out with one man backfield. Three men out, two to the right. Now a change in direction here as Coach Hoskins sends in a new play. 
James from shotgun again. Going to hand it. Oh, keep it. And takes it off to the right. Defense stayed home, but it may be enough for a first down. We'll wait for the spot. Yeah, they're motioning them on. Six yards on the pickup for James. And that time sold it well on that option. B.J. Peterson with a nice open field tackle. And now inside the red zone, ball at the 17 for the Tigers. Pace will be pretty conservative here in their first drive, and why not? Hey, they're getting four or five yards of carry. Spread formation, man in motion now, and they'll hand it off up the middle. There's Phelps again, finds a hole, drags it down to the 10-yard line. Gain of eight. Seven. Seven and a half. Seven and a half. Eight. First series, we're going to argue yards. You knew it was coming. It happens all the time. We went from the 17 It was to the, seven. You're right. We went from the 17 to the 10. Second down and three. Ball at the Floyd Central 10 for Paintsville in their opening drive tonight. Handoff will go again to Phelps. Bounces it up the middle and this time stopped. There you go. About a half a yard. We'll give him one. And that'll bring up a third down situation here in the vicinity of the 10-yard line. And actually, now they're kind of – got it across the 10, so, yeah, about a half a yard. Of course, four down territory here for the Tigers. Shotgun for – James as Allen splits out to the left. Fugit to the right. Handoff Phelps again. Finds a hole. It's stuffed quickly, but should be enough for a first down as it looks like he got to the six. About a three-yard pickup. And first and goal coming up now for the Tigers. First and goal at the six for Paintsville. Clock down the 731 here in the first quarter of play. Opening drive tonight for the Tigers. Phelps now under center with the eye formation. Two backs behind him. He'll turn and give to the second man. That's Phelps. Bounces it out to the right, but tripped as his way. <laughs> Saw a wide open lane and got so excited his momentum carried him. He tripped up on his own two feet. I think somebody on the interior kind of swapped his leg and tripped him as he made his cut. Just enough. And he gets down to the one. So a five-yard gain there by Phelps, and the Tigers are pounding on the door here. Second and goal at the one. Eye formation again. The turn and burn, and Phelps will take it in for a painful touchdown. Six-nothing Tigers on the Hutch Ford. Dot com scoreboard, 6.45 to go in the first quarter and a pretty effective drive aided by a great return game on the opening kickoff by special teams. I got a nine-play drive for 40 yards. Paintsville will go for the extra point kick. And it's up. And it is good by Holbrook. Balls in the hillside. Your score, Paintsville 7, Floyd Central. Keep it up. 6.45 to go in the first quarter on the Hutchford.com scoreboard. Back in one minute on WMDJ Sports. Hi, everybody. I'm Dave Baker. From the beginning, my friends at Total Pharmacy Care decided they'd specialize in one thing and one thing only. 100% of their time is making sure your prescriptions are filled right and all your questions are answered. Your health is the most important thing. So tell your doctor you want to specialize here at Total Pharmacy. Five convenient locations, Pikeville, Prestonsburg, Martin, Belfry, and Phelps. Total Pharmacy Care. It's not just a name. It's one. 
Hi, Kenny Rice here for A-Plus Roofing and Exteriors. Are you needing to improve your home or business exterior? Let the pros at A-Plus Roofing and Exteriors help. They specialize in roof replacement and will work with your insurance when it comes to wind or hail damage. A-Plus Roofing can also replace or repair gutters and siding. They have over a decade of experience to handle your job correctly and efficiently. Contact Travis Francis for a free estimate at 606-791-4226 or visit A-Plus Roofing K. Com. That's A-plus roofing and exteriors of Hazard and Lexington. Live and local, there's only one WMDJ. Paintsville's Holbrook with the kick, fielded back behind the 10 by Floyd Central to the 20, 25, 30, push forward and down near the 35-yard line. Boy, two great special teams plays to start this game. One for either team and a nice return by Blake Adams, of Floyd Central as we get set to see the Jaguar offense for the first time tonight. 7 nothing Paintsville on the Hutchboard.com scoreboard. A special hello to some youngins that are watching tonight. How about uh, Cash and Carter McKinney watching the broadcast tonight? Hey, never can start them too young. Exactly. <laughs> I'm sure somewhere in the, uh, in the ether, my Ellie Grace is watching. So, love you, Ellie Grace. I love our youngins. Here comes Floyd Central with Max Martin up on just upside of center. Now we'll hand off on first down and push through. Looked to be maybe Peterson on the carry. Uh, it is Peterson. And a four-yard pickup for Peterson, who, by the way, I messed up on the opening kickoff. Peterson was the kicker for Floyd Central to start the game. And both teams share a number 11 kicker. So if that's the only mistake I make tonight, we're doing pretty good. <laughs> Peterson on the four-yard pickup. Second and six for Floyd Central in Paintsville territory at the 39. Shotgun for Martin. Man comes around. Handoff goes to Thacker. Uh, nope. nope, it was a fool. They fooled him. Give it to Adams. And Adams didn't get much, but Thacker was busting through. But Fool us. I thought, yeah. he, I thought he had I thought it was him, too, for a moment. And nevertheless, no gain on the play for Adams. So a third down and six coming up. We'll see what Coach Hager has in store here on a third and long situation already on the game's opening drive. Got two men out. Buck out to the right. Chase Martin out to the left. Ooh, almost had someone jump there from Paintsville. Play clock down to 10. Martin checking off, now looking. He'll take the shotgun snap, keeps it, rolls out to the left on the option, caught up and brought down. Nice tackle by Paintsville's Kane Grimm. Got a pickup of one and a fourth and five and a decision coming up. I, mean, I feel like the smart play is to punt here. It's awfully early. Floyd Central going to punt. We'll see Peterson, who can obviously run the ball as well. Oh, almost had someone else jump for Paintsville. There's a wobbly snap. Peterson rolling out, puts it high in the air, and it will bounce and be downed in and around the 30-yard line. We'll get the official spot in a moment. So, Three plays and out for Floyd Central. And Paceful takes over, leading 7 0 with 4.15 to play in the first quarter on the Hutchford.com scoreboard. Not the uh, offensive start you wanted to see out of the Jaguars. Had a good initial play, four yards on the initial run, and then you went backwards or no gains, and you can't do that if, you, if you're going to play the ball control style. You have to keep making small increments. Every play. Can't play from behind the chains. Tigers take over here. In the spread, two men both ways, one man backfield. And the snap, James will throw quickly out in the flat. That's caught by Allen up the right sideline for a first down and across the 45-yard line from the 28 down to the 44. 18-yard pass. 
And that's that's something to worry about right there is containing the quick the quick hitters right there and letting Paints will get their athletes in space. First and ten ball near midfield at the 46 for Paintsville in their own territory. Again from the spread look. James will take the snap. Waits. Decides to run. He'll be met and down. Short gain on the play. With Central staying home on defense there. Three on the carry, I believe. Nice tackle by Jacob Johnson. Linebacker for the Jaguars there in open field. Three-yard pickup, as you mentioned, for James. And now a second down and seven. We appreciate you watching tonight on our WMDJ Facebook page and also on the Floyd Central TV, FCTV Facebook page tonight. Got a nice audience watching. I see Brandon Gearhart watching tonight. We love you, buddy. Here's a handoff up the middle. This is Phelps. He'll take it to the right. Got a first down and a big chunk. There's a flag. Peterson brings him down inside the 20, but there is a flag back around the 43-yard line. It's our first penalty tonight. Now, I can tell you about penalties. <laughs> I'm not talking about here. I'm talking about down the road in Prestonsburg. Black Cats are up 7-0 already on Betsy Lane in their game tonight. I understand that Brady Robinson had a 90-yard kickoff return for a touchdown called back on a penalty. Oh. You think people aren't cussing down there already? I guarantee it. You better believe it. There's some things being thrown down there right now. Yep. So that's <laughs> – Wow. Grudge match down there tonight. Here, 7 nothing, Paintsville leading. And this one is coming back, a penalty on the Tigers. So it's going to negate a 33-yard run right here. On a hold. First of many holds that we'll be seeing this year. <laughs> Ain't it funny that they only come out in yeah. big plays, you know? Right. <laughs> just, just say it, you know. So that will bring it back to the 47-yard line of Floyd Central from the spot of the foul. Still going to be a four-yard game. Well, now a second and three, ball across midfield. Paintsful with it in the spread again. Handoff, Phelps hit from behind. Nice job by Floyd Central's Will Wells behind there to bring him down. Will be a loss of one. Big third down play right here. Third and four, boy, it'd be a big stop here for Floyd Central to get some momentum and get the ball back here at 2:40 and ticking first quarter clock. Got to know where James is right here. I mean, he's a shotgun. I mean, James and Phelps is the two that's going to be the plays. Spread formation again, and James will throw it out in the flat. Broken up. Nice job by B.J. Peterson. Breaking up the would-be pass to Connor Fugit. Trevor Hoskins furious at his quarterback over there. And his choice when he saw someone streaking downfield, I think may have been open, and he didn't check off. He went to the easy one, Peterson, with a smackdown. Peterson made a really great read right there. He was about just a half a second late from a pick six right there. Absolutely. That was a great breakup, though, on the play. Big stop. Let me tell you, I get just as excited about stops right now as you do about scores. Great to see. Fourth and four, and the Tigers will punt at midfield. High, and oh, it's blocked, and a loose ball, and it'll be down. Actually, he shanked that off his foot. He shanked it. He shanked it. It wasn't blocked. He shanked that off his foot. Thus, it was <laughs> up for grabs. Paintsville downed it, but he covered it. Paintsville kicked it up here around the 44, and that's why it went backwards here to the 47. Big break for Floyd Central yeah, right here. Big break. So, Nearly half a field, good field position here for the Jaguars. Let's see if these fans can make some noise and get behind this team as they're going to the I formation now. 
with Adams and Bryce Thacker. Thacker, your fullback. Martin from shotgun takes it, hands it off to Adams. Not much on first down. No gain on the play. That Floyd Central line is getting abused on that left side over yeah. there. Or our right, be their right side. They are getting abused as two paintsful defenders got back in the backfield to break that up. Adams lucky to not lose yardage. Second down and 10 here. Clock at 1.38 to go, first quarter. 7-0 Paintsville on the Hutchford.com scoreboard. Shotgun again for Martin. He'll take the snap, keeps it, looking for a hole, and gives forward progress of one yard to the 45. Offense is sputtering here in the early going. The line, the offensive line is not getting a push uh, initially to create holes and give that two or three yard cushion uh, to pick up yardage. We are under a minute to go, first quarter. Third and nine now, ball at their own 45 for the Jags. Martin from shotgun, they'll switch things up here in what's uh, known as the sawed off pistol. <laughs> Coach caught it, rolling out, looking to throw is Martin. Pressure coming, gets rid of it, incomplete. And a little extracurricular hit there at the end of the play by Paintsville with Grimm kind of shoving Martin off as he ran back to the sideline for a moment. No harm, no foul. No little, harm, little, no foul. Little just, football. A, just a little shove. Just a little football. A little football. If you, if you can't take that shove right there, you don't need to be out here. <laughs> You get because he just got knocked down a whole lot harder. So the Jags cannot convert on what was a great defensive stand previously. Fourth and nine, and Floyd Central has got to adjust some things on the offensive end against this painful defense. Jaguars will punt. Peterson back to take the snap. High snap, picks it up, rolling out. Going to be in trouble. Finally just forced it off his foot, and it will take a nice Jaguar roll. All the way down to the 20-yard line. Boy, oh, boy, the football gods bailed him out there. Well, that he, was near disaster. He punted one right-footed while ago, and then the scramble, he punted that one left-footed. Wow. <laughs> so, Paintsville takes over at their own 20 in what was almost a disastrous play for Floyd Central. Peterson's been very impressive here early on. The, the defensive play and just his ability to get that punt off under that kind of pressure. Yeah. He has to be somewhat of ambidextrous to be able to make that move. Baseball would take over here at their own 20 with 22 seconds left in a first quarter clock. 7 0 Paintsville leading. Hutchford.com scoreboard. Shotgun for James. And we got whistles we before the snap. Floyd Central jump. This is a false start on Paintsville. I was almost going to say an illegal formation, but uh, nevertheless, it's a false start. Well, you've seen a uh, back up five yards. Well, you've seen Paintsville start clapping and going on, and I thought, and I thought that it was going to be on Floyd Central just by Paintsville's reaction. First and 15 now, ball at the 15-yard line. Shotgun again, and drops off again in motion this time, and the handoff goes up the middle. Big run for Paintsville. There's a first down across the 30. About a 16-yard run that time by the Tigers, and that was Grayson Peters on the carry for Paintsville. We'll go 17 yards. 17 officially. First and 10, Paintsville ball at the 32-yard line. First time we've called Peters' name tonight. Clock is rolling, but the first quarter will come to an end as we hear the buzzer sound. Tigers on top, 7-0. It'll be first and 10, Paintsville at their own 32 when we come back for the second quarter. Again, end of one, your score, Paintsville 7, Floyd Central nothing. On the Hutchford.com scoreboard, you're listening to the Appalachian Wireless Game of the Week on WMDJ Sports. 
I'm Brandon Bradley. My mommy taught me to be the right thing even when it's hard. As fully district judge, addicts are not going to get a slap on the wrist. If you get busted with dope, you've got a problem, and you're either going to sit in jail or get help. Real recovery takes time. You can't walk 40 miles into the wilderness and walk five miles and get out. As a public defender, I have seen every trick in the book. I'm not just on the ballot. I'm on a mission to make a difference. But I can't do it alone. I need your help. If you're as fed up with dope in Floyd County as I am, show up on November 8th and vote Brandis Bradley for Floyd District Judge. Made for by Brandis Bradley. Parkview Pharmacy of Many takes pride in being committed to the community. Pharmacist Valerie Akers and Christy Moore understand your time is valuable, which is why Parkview Pharmacy offers free delivery service for your prescriptions. The next time you stop in, ask about online refills for faster service and pick up one of those wonderful Candlebear candles. Parkview Pharmacy of Many, 377-2117. Committed to our community. Live and local, there's only one WMDJ. Second quarter coverage presented by Appalachian Wireless. We are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. Jamie Johnson, Byron Hall here with you tonight. Josh McKinney, Matt Johnson on the production team tonight. Also stats, cameras, lights, cameras, and we've had some action. action. It's 7-0 baseball as we get set to start this second quarter. Down in Prestonsburg with 4.05 to go in the first. Black Cats lead 7-6. to six. Robinson got a 25-yard touchdown run for Betsy Lane to help tighten things up. And that good one down there at Josh Francis Field tonight. Boy, well, Central, they've had some answers on defense. Not a stop, but uh, offense has been a, a bit of a struggle. Well, Paintsville ran 15 plays in the first quarter. Lloyd Central ran six. Two, th- two three and outs. It's a lot to put on the defense right now. The good thing here, Paintsville has to march down the field uh, after a really nice punt from Peterson and a penalty uh, forcing Paintsville to go the 85 yards. First and 10, Paintsville again at their own 32 as we switch sides for the start of the second quarter. Shotgun snap for James. Takes the snap, immediately looks in the flat, now throws it deep, looking for a man. Picked off! Interception, guess who? Peterson. B.J. Peterson on the pick. Turnover, Tigers. I got the feeling that Coach Hoskins was getting on the James earlier about why you didn't throw it downfield. Now you see why he sh- he didn't want to throw it downfield. I don't think he's got the confidence with it. That was un- poorly underthrown. Underthrown. He was great single coverage, and Peterson came out of that safety position to pick it off. So Floyd Central with the turnover, first one of the night. 11.51 to play here in this second quarter. And the handoff for Floyd Central. It'll be Peterson getting the call. Why not? <laughs> He'll get it down to around the 47-yard line. That's a pickup of five yards. Second down and five coming up. Boy, Peterson is a lightning rod right now for this Jaguar offense and defense trying to get things rolling here. Need something to happen here on offense. This has got to be the this has got to be the drive. They have to make something happen. Shotgun again for Max Martin. Man in motion is Adams. They'll hand it to him on the sweep to the left. He'll turn the corner. There's a first down. Down the left sideline and out of bounds. In painful territory. We'll see where the spot's going to be. Looks like the 39-yard line for Floyd Central in a first down. Jaguars, our first one tonight. That is an 18-yard run by Adams on that jet sweep. Easily the The biggest play of the night. The best play of the night so far offensively. So move those chains. The Jaguar first down, their first tonight. Ball at the Tiger 39. Floyd Central trailing 7-0 on the Hutchford.com scoreboard as they run some off the field quickly, but now – some confusion, and <laughs> Coach Hager is going to burn a, th- a timeout. Well, you getting on to Jace Martin there just a little bit as he ran his just last a man bit. 
<laughs> this is the last man running off. <laughs> well, I mean, you've made the, you finally get a first down, you get some momentum, and then there's confusion, and he doesn't yeah. want to break that momentum. But hey, it's okay. Take a breath, get it fired up. They're looking, well, they're really fired up in this huddle right now. Hey, this is the drive to make it happen. You have got back to back stops on pace, so one of them being a turnover. This is your opportunity right here to move the ball down the field. This timeout brought your way by Parkview Pharmacy at Mini. Pharmacist Valerie Akers and Christy Moore ask you to take time out for your health and visit Parkview Pharmacy where they'll take time to take care for you on a one-on-one -on -one basis. 11.08 to play here in this second quarter. Paintsville on top, 7-0. They scored on the opening drive tonight. Nine plays, nine runs. All on the ground. 40 yards on that first drive, aided by a nice kickoff return by Paintsville. Now Floyd Central looking to make some noise. First and 10, ball at the Paintsville 39. Martin from shotgun. Uh, Two-man backfield now, a man in motion, and confusion and a busted play. Somehow Peterson had the football, and it's a loss on the play. It was a fake to Adams, immediately back, turn around in to Peterson, and the defensive line for Paintsville just blew it up. Loss of five on that play. So now it'll be first down, or second down, excuse me, and 15. Ball back at the 44, and the handoff this time will go again to that left side and down the sideline again, shy of the stick, but a nice run by Blake Adams again, going back to the play that got him there in that uh, vicinity in the first place. Yeah, they're seeing something over on that left side, and they're starting to take advantage of it. That was a 14-yard pickup by Adams. Gives him 22 yards on the night. And now they'll change packages here as you see Peterson, Brody Buck, and Adams check out. Sheston Johnson checking in, Bryce Thacker. Landon Castle. All of those checking in here for the Jaguars on what is third and one. You may see Thacker bust up the gut right here. Or he might be clearing a hole for Johnson. For Sheston, yeah. Clock down to 935. Play and clock one at second, and play clock and a timeout called. We'll take the timeout as well. 9.29 to play in the second quarter, 31 on the 30 when we come back for Floyd Central on WMDJ Sports. Patriot RV of Preston is your RV headquarters, and more. In fact, we are authorized dealer for Club Car Golf Carts. Club Car is America's premier line of golf carts, and you'll find a huge selection in all styles and colors. There's zero percent financing available for 48 months for qualified buyers. Patriot RV, US 23 in Prestonsburg. This is Senator Clark Kirk, Douglas Ray Hall, with my message to all student athletes in Floyd County. It's been said that others may have more talent than you, but remember, there's no excuse for anyone to work harder than you do. Remember that every champion was once only a contender. Be confident, take risks, and know that failure and rejection are the first steps to success. Good luck to all Floyd County schools from your Circuit Court Kirk, Douglas Ray Hall. Live and local, there's only one WMDJ. Back to action, indeed, it was a three yard pickup handoff simply to Bryce Thacker, who punched it through for the first down, 290 pounds moving forward like a force. And that'll move those chains for a Jaguar first down. Don't stand on the tracks when the train's coming through. Absolutely. <laughs> he being a freight train at that. We call him the fridge. <laughs> First and 10, ball at the Paintsville 27. Jaguars trying to get on the board, handoff to Peterson, right side sweep, trying to hit the edge, gets a block, and may have got back to the line of scrimmage here. Let's I see. I think he lost a yard. Ooh, he may have lost more than one. Two. Two. Lost a two, had to go long way. 
Paintsville done, to. Paintsville done a good job stringing that out and not allowing him to cut up the field to gain positive yards. So a second down and 12. Nope. 11. For the sake of accuracy. All right. Because facts are not optional on this broadcast. <laughs> second down and 11. Play clock rolling. Approaching eight minutes to go before the half on the Hutchford.com scoreboard. 7 nothing Paintsville. Second down and 11. Better hurry. Play clock at 7. Martin, a man in motion, keeps it up the middle. Nice fake. And he'll go down near the 20. Nice gain on that one as the defense bit on Peterson. The first get... play set up that play. Yeah. Down to the 22 for a six-yard gain. Six yards. So now a third and five coming up. And the ball at the 22 of Paintsville just outside the red zone. Clock approaching seven minutes to go before the half. And this time they'll come out and look to keep it on the ground. This is Adams again running through a hole left side, and he's close. He'll be about a half a yard short, maybe. Looks to be a solid four. Well, about four and a half yard pickup for Adams there. Was it down to the 18? Needed about this, just a little bit past. Definitely four down territory going for it here. I see Bryce Thacker still out there on the field. He was kind of hands on knees for a moment there. He made that hole for Adams that time. Oh, and he's throwing up. And timeout. I, I mean, and the official <laughs> white hat. See, oh, oh, and we go again. Ooh. And again. Hey, at least it ain't homecoming. And he's not walking anybody out tonight. No girl would want to walk out with him right now. <laughs> Bless his heart. He is gassed. I tell you, I love that kid, though. Baseball, he was the uh, scoreboard operator in baseball this year. And was giving it his all the entire time. And he says, I got to help out, coach. I got to help, coach. And hey, hey, he's a great kid. Yeah, he's a winner. And uh, love that kid. And I got to know him just a little bit during the year because Matt was doing the PA in the box. And Bryce was up there. And Bryce is a pretty calming influence. Even when there's <laughs> others that come up there wanting to cause trouble, he's kind of like, hey, calm down. <laughs> you know. Well, who wouldn't be intimidated by him? He's, he's, a, he's a very mature young man. And uh, obviously not feeling his best right now. So a yeah. timeout uh, called here. 7 nothing Paintsville. It is fourth and one. And this does change up the dynamics on the play call, though, because, boy, you sure did need him out there on that sideline because he's done such a great job of clearing the holes. Yeah, I mean, he's a, a big boy. He's going to take up uh, what you might call a space eater. <laughs> yeah, really. But he, he was the one that cleared that hole last time. For Adams to get up to where they're at, and the last time they needed a first down, they just handed it to him, let him get three yards. So interesting to see right here if they're going to go with that sweep they've been running with Adams. They've had success over to the far side there, going to his left, or if they're going to try to go maybe a little misdirection with Mac, uh, with Martin up the middle. I'm thinking that left side's coming. Uh, they had some success with that in two previous plays on this drive. They only need one yard out of it, even if the defense is ready for that. If you can just get the one, that may, creates a whole new situation for well, the Jaguars. Would you put Martin under center and go for the quarterback sneak real quick? We'll see. I mean, they've had so much trouble, like you said, switching out packages and doing different things on the fly, and this is only game one. And Coach Hager talked about you know this new offense they have started it's not really new, but it's got different wrinkles. And you can see they're still trying to iron those out. Yeah, still still filling the roles, still figuring out figuring it out a little bit. But this drive, it took them three drives, but they're start, I think they're starting to figure it out just a little bit. 6.34 to go before the half on the Hutchford.com scoreboard. This has been a long timeout situation. Obviously, maybe some cleanup. Might be, is that what we're waiting on here? I don't know. Clean up on aisle five? 
It's uh, above my pay grade. <laughs> I'm, ass- I'm assuming that's, only, that's what's That's, that's the yes. only thing it ha- can be. Josh says yes. So uh, Here comes Mr. Athletic yeah. Director and some assistance from the janitorial side. So we're going to take a break. We'll come back in a minute. Seven nothing your score. Painsville on top. Back in one minute on WMDJ Sports. Come and see us this month at Hutch Ford. We have brand new models starting as low as twenty one nine ninety. We also have some great one of a kind pre owns to choose from. But we want your trade. You bring your car, you bring your title, and leave with a check. Give us a call at downtown Paintsville, six oh six seven eight nine five three oh one or check us out on the web at hutchford.com. Hello, this is Brandon Spencer, Republican candidate for state representative of the 95th District of Floyd and Pike County. Can you imagine one football player trying to win a game by themselves? They would never get anything done. You must have a team working together. That's why I'm asking for your vote on November the 8th. I can work with Senator Rand Paul, Senator Mitch McConnell, and Congressman Hal Rogers in the Republican-controlled House and Senate. With your vote, you'll have a team working for Floyd and Pike County, paid for by Brandon Spencer. Live and local, there's only one WMDJ. We're back at Floyd Central, seven nothing. Your score, painful on top here tonight, and we are indeed clearing uh, clearing the field, cleaning some things up after uh, Brian Stacker got a little ill on the field. This might not be a bad timeout for Floyd I, that's Central. That's what I was going to say. Hey, this isn't a bad thing because hey, Bryce can get his wind about him. And if not this play, the next play, he'll be okay. Yeah. You know, so well, we're it's, fourth, it's fourth down, so you got to get the – Get this one. you got to get this one first. We'll move on. So uh, a little cleanup situation going on right now after uh, after that segment. So now we'll be if, waiting on that. If Floyd Central wanted to burn their final time out, then you could put Thacker back in the game. You could because then that would reset things and allow him to get back out there and play right. on this play. So we'll – but well, that's burning another timeout. I don't know if you're going to do that or not. Yeah, they've only got they've got one left. Yeah, and six thirty four to go in the half, huh? And, and you've had m- plenty of time now to kind of talk about what you want to do. Mm-hmm. So I it would be pointless. I, I feel like it would be pointless to burn your last timeout right here after yeah. you, after you've had this extended break. Yeah, you, know, you see Peterson come back out here and joining up on the huddles. Put the ball in that kid's hands. He's had a fantastic game so far tonight. He's he's not a bit afraid of – and I don't think they've been playing the jersey tonight at all. Uh, that's not been an issue here tonight. But uh, he's he's definitely showed that he is game ready here tonight. Peterson's like that Swiss Army knife. He does a little of everything. Yeah, absolutely. Got a ton of confidence. Is great, not afraid of the situation. Great athlete. Yeah, I, great athlete. Uh, if I was told earlier, he – he made it to state in track earlier this year, earlier in the year. Listen, we were so. talking about what the track team would be, what kind of implications would we see from that, the impact we would see on that from the spring. That you know they put together a track team here in the first year, and kids go to state. Yeah, uh, that's fantastic. It just shows the need for it, and 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 the numbers they had. Yeah, absolutely. Of course, you know South Floyd, Allen Central always had great track programs, uh, especially early on when track became a thing yeah. in the 90s. And the athletes have always been here, and uh, I'm not shocked at all by seeing this. No, I'm not either. And we've seen that impact with some of these guys here on the football field tonight as we are ready to resume play. As the uh, cleanup crew has done a fantastic job to get us back on the field and play some football. Fourth and one. Clock will begin. White hat saying, roll that clock. Here we go. So they got Johnson and Adams in the eye behind Martin. Martin will take the snap, handoff. Adams met quickly and down, stopped. The hit was so fast, I don't think Adams even knew he had the ball. Grayson Peters with the stop for Paintsville, busting through. And that shows you what happens when you don't have Bryce out there to help you out. (laughs) That play got blew up from the get-go. That's, a, that's going to be a loss of a yard, too, on top of that insult injury. 
Well, we kind of knew it might go to him. I was hoping maybe Peterson would get a look at that. But nevertheless, turnover on downs. A five, uh, say it again. 524 was the time of possession on that. And nothing. That's tough. I got a nine-play drive, too. Nine-play drive. So, Pace will take over at their own 19 and hold the phone. The Tigers want to talk about it. Timeout, Paintsville. 7 nothing. Paintsville, 621 to go before the half. Back in one minute on WMDJ Sports. There's only one WMDJ. Back to action now. The timeout first play for Paintsville. It's Harris Phelps to the right, and he'll get down to the 30-yard line. An 11-yard explosion on first down to move those chains for Paintsville. The Tigers with just over eight minutes of possession time in the first half. Floyd Central with 13 minutes and 52 seconds of possession time. Your score, Paintsville 7, Jaguars nothing. That's tough to swallow. It's a tough pill to swallow. Especially when you were driving and just got blew up in the backfield on the last play. Shotgun for James. Hand off to Phelps again. Big hole up the middle. First down and more across the 45 and down to midfield. From the 30 down to the 47-yard line. A 12-yard, or excuse me, a 17-yard pickup by Paintsville. Right now, Phelps with 59 yards on 10 carries. And the clock coming up on five minutes to go before the half. First and 10, Paintsville. Ball at their own 47. One man backfield, they'll go to the spread. There's the snap. The pitch out to Phelps this time. Right side. Hits the edge. Gets some more. Ten more. Across the 40 and out of bounds in Floyd Central Territory. Another Tiger first down. Bam, bam, bam. Three plays, and the chains keep moving downfield. 14-yard pickup right there. Has got on the edge, and Floyd Central, nobody out there to slow him down. We mentioned that. Last year, Phelps averaged 125 yards per game. He's well on his way. He has 73 yards on 11 carries. Well, you see Paintsville going back to the ground and pound right here like they did their first drive, and it's starting to work out for yeah, them. They're again. not fooling around. Shotgun here for James. And again, the pitch this time, though, it's not going to be Phelps as he gets a breather and not much doing that time for Paintsville. Justin Ramey, a senior. With the carry that time. Two yard game. I'll give Phelps a breather there, and after three first down runs of 10 plus yards each. Well, he earned a break. Uh, he's back in there now, though. You know, 11, 17, and 14 were those three runs in a row by the senior for the Tigers. And he's. You see him out there? I don't see him out there. Oh, uh, wrong one. Ramey's still out there. And the throw this time, James. Pressure goes to the right, tucks it, and runs. Oh, and hit the stick and went out of bounds. The stick man is supposed to drop out. <laughs> he didn't. <laughs> I know. I'm just saying he's supposed to drop it. <laughs> well, the drop it, he did not. James ran right into it. Does that mean he got a pickup of eight? 
went out of bounds before he got to that area, so he shied his first down. I believe. No, no, they got him. They had the ball on the 30. He needed the 39. He's one yard or 29. short. He needed the 29, I'm sorry. Started at the 39. So he's one yard short. Seven yard gain. Here we go on what is third and one. Handoff. Guess who? Phelps will drag it and he'll get the first down up the middle. I think about one and a half. Just enough. I think. They they might measure this. Nope. I don't say I, I thought he got it pretty I clear it, to me. They they said first down. So they'll move the chains again. Clock is down to 325 to go before the half. 7 0 Paintsville on the Hutchboard.com scoreboard. Boy, a beautiful night for football here. Look at these clowns. I mean, we can we can sit and look at this, look at the sky up here as much as you can. The <laughs> game tonight. It's such a beautiful evening wherever you are. I hope you're enjoying it. Shotgun for James, and the handoff will go. Again, this is, I think, Phelps trying to find a hole. One, maybe two. Indeed it was, Phelps. About a two-yard pickup. Approaching 100 viewers on Facebook. We appreciate that tonight. Had a good showing on there. We've tried to make some improvements on our video side for the year. Gain of one. Ball to the 28. For the sake of accuracy. So 76 yards now total for Phelps. So yeah. He's still in the backfield. <laughs> Shotgun for James. He'll give it to Phelps. Left side running this time. Gets it to the edge. 15, 10. And Peterson wraps him up around the five-yard line. Got some laundry on the field back here around the 30. Might be coming back. Holding. That'll be the second holding penalty on Paintsville tonight. Total of 25 yards. Uh, total in penalties so far against Paintsville. Zero penalties on Floyd Central tonight. Well, Paintsville's the one that's played a little bit more of the sloppy game. Three penalties and a turnover. Uh, Floyd Central, no penalties, no turnovers as uh, far as fumbling or interceptions. So back this one back to around the used to be the 37 yard line, the, the Floyd Central 37. And second down and long. Second and Garrett. Shotgun for James. He'll take it. Looking, throwing right side. That's caught up to the 30, 25, 20. Dancing across the 15. He'll get the first down that he needed. Well, somebody got blocked in the back down there, but not going to call it. Pass completed to Connor Fugit from the 37-yard line. We'll see where the spot's going to be right at the 15. And another painful first down in the red zone here, approaching 130 to go. 22 yards on the pass. And it's just a simple, quick, quick wide receiver screen, and Fugit made all the plays, made all the yards happen. Shotgun for James again. And hands it off. Ramey gets the call. Left side short. Got a few. Looks like about a four-yard pickup. Uh, From this angle, I'll, four or five. I'm going to say five. It looks like five. it's down on the 10. Five-yard pickup for Ramey. Going off to our far left now. So now Paintsville trying to put some more points on the board as we are under a minute to go. Tigers have three timeouts remaining. 46 seconds on second down and five. Ball at the 10. And the handoff, Phelps trying to drag his defender up the middle. And they'll stop the clock finally with 30 seconds as he's going to be shy of the first down. 
You know, this, they're not guaranteed a score here. They're getting a little <laughs> predictable on offense, are the Tigers. Just a little. I'm going to mark him down at the six, I believe. I see space to the five-yard line. I'm giving him the six. Yeah, I say six. So now Paintsville has to try to draw something up here with only 30 seconds to go. And excuse me, and they only have one timeout remaining, not uh, three. They hadn't adjusted that on the scoreboard. So never, it's one timeout left. Never trust the scoreboard. That's always the rule. <laughs> Ball is indeed on the six. It's a third and one. Uh, I mean, up. 30 seconds, six yards. I mean, they've got their entire playbook right here. Wouldn't I'm be surprised to see a pass here on third and one. Yeah. If you miss, you stop the clock, and then you're going to run it in. Yeah. Well, I mean, you can still go for the first down and call the timeout. If you don't, if you do go for the pass and don't get it right here. Uh, this, at this point, you're six yards out, you're, you're going for pay dirt. Well, yeah, I'm just saying. If you got stopped. Let's see what happens. We've, we've had a turnover on an interception by the Floyd Central defense and a turnover on downs tonight. Shotgun snap for James. And handoff to Phelps up the middle. He'll punch it in for the score. Got right down to the line and crossed the threshold and gets it in for a painful touchdown. Six yards on the carry and the second touchdown tonight by the senior Harris Phelps. 15 carries unofficially 86 yards and a pair of scores. I've got them going 11 plays right there for 81 yards. An 11 play, 81 yard drive. Wow. Kick is up and it is right down Broadway. 14 nothing Paintsville with 24 seconds to go before the break on the Appalachian Wireless Game of the Week. We'll come back in one minute on WMDJ Sports. When you need to know about your medications, it's important to know your pharmacist. Chris Howard, Tiffany Jacobs, Charlie Newsom, and Terry Cancel and Howard Family Pharmacy, your community health mark pharmacy, will always take time for you. And it's more convenient now than ever to fill your prescriptions. Simply use their free mobile app or log on to howardfamilypharmacy.com. Quality care and service, where it's always about family. That's Howard Family Pharmacy of Allen and Eastern. Health Mart, taking the time to listen and care. Remote work and learning require a dependable internet connection. Dear Heart Broadband understands how important staying connected is and wants to provide you with dependable high-speed internet with speeds up to one gig. It's perfect for homes with multiple users and numerous devices and now has Wi-Fi 6 available. Find out more today at imctv.com or give us a call at 606-478-9406. Remember, better broadband means better lives. Live and local, there's only one WMDJ. The kick happens, but a whistle and a false start penalty on Paintsville as we're back to action with only 24 seconds left in the half on the Hutchford.com scoreboard. It's Paintsville 14 and Floyd Central nothing. We'll kick again except five yards deeper here for Paintsville. Every yard you're going to inch up right here because – Paintsville really kind of looking for a pooch kick here to, or a squib kick of some kind just to not allow Floyd Central to really get ahead of steam and take a chance on them breaking a big play. Here's the another short kick fielded and broken up as Justin Johnson broke one tackle, falls down at the 45, and with 21 seconds, Floyd Central needs 65 yards for, or 55 yards for pay dirt. Coming up, our Douglas Ray Hall halftime report. We'll go over complete stats. We'll also check in on scores from around the area, including that Prestonsburg Betsy Lane game, where I believe Prestonsburg is back out on top. Betsy Lane had a lead there for a moment. It's going to be a back and forth game. Could come down to a final possession. We talked about it on our Sound Off on Sports podcast this week. Thacker is back out there. It's good to see. 21 seconds, man in motion, Martin fakes, 
throws it deep. Left side, got a man caught. Brody Buck down the sideline, inside the five and out of bounds. Brody Buck with the biggest catch of his young football career. The junior takes it down inside the five and a chance to put some points on the board. A 50-yard throw from Martin to Buck. And this crowd comes to life. They were going to the concession stand <laughs> and said, wait a minute, Hoss, come back. Hold up. Not so fast, my friend. Yes. Got to make it happen here, Captain. Come on. First and goal at the five with 13 seconds and one timeout left. I formation here for Floyd Central. Ho, ho, ho. Timeout. Timeout Paintsville. We'll stay right here. Timeout Tigers with 13 seconds and a little shock and all here right now. Hey, I kind of caught me by surprise. I was wondering if they were just going to try to get something conservative, run, run the <laughs> yeah. clock out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, it looked that way by the formation. You're like, well, they're going to just kind of dink and dive it here. Maybe dink and throw or dive uh, it out to the take, left. Just, and, take, just hand it off, take your chances, see if you can break it. If not, oh, well, we'll go to the half. And lo and behold, we got a play action, 50-yard gainer. <laughs> and you know what? A I lot like of it. confidence on that throw from Martin. There were times last year where some of those throws were under. They were underthrown. That one was on the money. Caught in stride. In stride. He, had it. he beat his coverage because, hey, that's only the second attempt all night <laughs> at throwing the football. And obviously, Paintsville's defense, they were already thinking about the half as well with a 14-0 lead, and bam, snake bit here on the hill tonight. But you got to finish it here. It's, it's all for naught if you don't get six right here. Uh, you get six here, hopefully eight, and then you have the ball to start the second half because Paintsville the, took, the, took, it. took the kickoff tonight. They took it. So, first and goal at the five for the Jaguars. A lot of space over here on this right side. Snap from Martin. Handoff, Sheston Johnson pushing, pushing, and down inside the five, down to the one. You got to burn that timeout, and they do. So, one more play here, probably around the two-yard line. Looks like where they may be at. Two or three. Got some push at the two. So a gain of three by Sheston Johnson on his first carry tonight. And now with 5.3 seconds to go, Floyd Central and Coach Sean Hager will draw up one more play to hopefully put some points on this board before the half. Well, this time you do have big Bryce Thacker to clear a hole uh, and hopefully not get the play blown up in the backfield again. Probably looked right at him and said, you good, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> Heaven the huddle said, are you good? Yeah. Can, All right. Can you get there? <laughs> can, can you open up a hole one more time? Hey, might not open up the hole. He might create it with the ball himself. Look here. It's all going to come down to your offensive line right here. They have to get that one-yard push off and then let your running back, if you, if you get the one-yard push from the offensive line, the running back can almost make it the extra yard just falling forward. This, this may be that. It may be even one of those plays where we saw earlier with the misdirection where Martin keeps the ball and goes straight forward. Well, you're gonna, They're going to have to block it every the way. It don't matter what you run. Let's see the they, call. you got to have hat on hat right here. Sawed off shotgun pistol here. And the handoff goes to Thacker. Trying to push. He's not going to get it. And we go to the half. Dacker couldn't take them all on. It was going to go to him. Pace will plug the hole. And that holds it up. We go to the half. Your score, Paintsville 14 and Floyd Central nothing on the Hutchford.com scoreboard as the Jaguars drive dies inside the five. We'll come back in three minutes for our halftime report. Brian Greenway by your Floyd Circuit Court clerk, Douglas Ray Hall, back in three minutes on WMDJ Sports. 
It's a night of Y2K country with Andy Griggs. You will never be lonely. And Daryl Worley. Friday, November 4th, Captain Art Center, a night with Andy Griggs and Daryl Worley performing the incredible country number one hit, You Will Know and Remember. Tickets as low as $23 and on sale now by calling 1 888 or at MacArts.com. Sponsored in part by the Kentucky Arts Council. Community Trust Bank is pleased to announce that all of our branch office lobbies are now open during regular business hours. We remain committed to the health and safety of our community and are committed to maintaining a safe environment for both our employees and our customers. The drive through at all of our branches remain open during regular business hours. You can also make an appointment with our staff by calling your local branch. For location, hours, and phone number of your local branch, please visit our website, ctbi.com. Community Trust Bank, building communities built on trust. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. Inside the train testing facility, our heating and cooling products are put through 16 weeks of extreme temperature fluctuations to simulate five years of wear and tear. 150 degrees one day, sub-zero temperatures the next. Three tests, so it runs. Just call 437-7368 for Elliott Heating and Cooling. It's hard to stop a train. Hi, everybody. Dave Baker here for Citizens Bank of Kentucky. You know that old saying that time is money? Well, it's true. How about putting extra cash in your pocket each month by refinancing with new low rates at CBK? All you have to do is log on to wearecitizens.bank. Hi, everybody. Dave Baker here for Citizens Bank of Kentucky. The next time you see someone smiling while they're driving their car, well, it's probably because they just took advantage of the new low interest rate at CBK. What are you waiting for? Log on to wearecitizens.bank and start smiling. Loans are subject to credit approval and equal housing lender. Member FDIC. Parkview Pharmacy of Minnie takes pride in being committed to the community. Pharmacist Valerie Akers and Christy Moore understand your time is valuable, which is why Parkview Pharmacy offers free delivery service for your prescriptions. The next time you stop in, ask about online refills for faster service and pick up one of those wonderful Candleberry candles. Parkview Pharmacy of Minnie, 377-2117. Committed to our community. Want to know the secret to a healthy smile? You won't find it in a bottle. The secret is found in simple, everyday brushing, crossing, and regular checkups with Martin Dentistry. Recently voted as the best dentist in Floyd County, Dr. Stacy Martin offers preventative general dentistry treatments and checkups to patients of all ages. Martin Dentistry would like to thank their patients for their trust and they look forward to serving you for years to come. Call for an appointment, 285-9444. For Martin Dentistry. Live and local, there's only one WMDJ. Back at the half, your score, it is Paintsville 14 and Floyd Central nothing here on the Hutchford.com scoreboard. It's our Appalachian Wireless Game of the Week brought your way by Appalachian Wireless. We are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. It is our halftime report brought your way by Douglas Ray Hall, your Floyd County Circuit Court clerk who wishes all sports teams Nothing but success in the 2022-23 athletic school year. Keep working hard, practice hard, play hard. You'll outwork and outplay your opponent. Best of luck to all Floyd County schools this season on the gridiron, on the golf course right now, on the soccer pitch. You learn that soccer language right now? That's very good. On the volleyball court, on On the the football field, whatever it may be. Best of luck during the fall sports season to all of our Floyd County schools from your Floyd Circuit Court clerk, Douglas Ray Hall. Byron, a, a couple of plays, it comes down to a couple of plays uh, for Floyd Central. They've made the plays on defense to stay in this game, only down two touchdowns with the ball to start the second half. But it comes down to a couple of execution plays or like thereof on the offensive end, or this would be a tie ball game. Yeah, I mean, Floyd Central's had m- opportunities here Uh you think right here after the pick, they drive it down, get it inside the 20, needed one yard, and Paintsville makes an outstanding defensive play to stop Floyd Central short. And then after the long pass play here uh, with just seconds left, you know, Paintsville's defensive line comes up, gets another stop here, uh, getting a big push against this Floyd Central offensive line, and that's what it's coming down to right now. Looking at some team stats in the first half that we have right now. Paintsville with 22 carries 
for 127 yards on the ground, the majority of those from the uh, legs of Harris Phelps, who's had a great first half. And passing-wise, the Tigers are two for four for 40 yards and one interception. That's a total of 26 plays, 167 yards of total offense tonight in 14 minutes and nine seconds of possession time tonight. For Floyd Central, we have 16 carries for 48 yards, one of two passing for 50 yards, 18 plays, 98 total yards of offense in 14 minutes and 16 seconds. Well, Floyd Central was winning the uh, – Floyd Central played a really good game to be not be tied or ahead right now. But the thing about it is you take away the 50-yard pass – with the, the last big yeah. play of the half, and we're looking at uh, a worse number. You're looking at 48 right. yards of total offense. That's, you know, it's not been working uh, so far. Paintsville has been able to plug the holes that they expected to see uh, Floyd Central try to run, uh, running downhill. They've stopped that. The edge has not been there much. Uh, only a couple of times to the left side by Adams. Uh, Peterson tried to hit the right side a couple of times, couldn't get there on the edge. It looks to me that maybe the one thing that Floyd Central can do, judging off that one play, is throw the ball around a little bit. Throw it down the field, challenge a little bit. And this is, you know, it's come back to some of the same things we've seen before. You're seeing Paintsville, and last year you've seen teams stack the box with eight, nine, even ten defenders in the box, and you're not trying to stretch the field or make a quick hitter Something to loosen that up, and you're seeing that's why the why Paintsville's defense is getting such good uh, penetration on against the defensive line right now. Yeah, you got to at least do the dink and duck bubble screen pass, something to try to open up that running game, and then also stretch it downfield like we saw that one time with Buck. Uh, you can't do it obviously every play, no. but you do have to try to open up that passing game in hopes that he'll get your running game going in the right direction. You know, it starts early on first down. If you want to run the ball, you run early and create that four or five yards. That way you're not playing. If you do pass on second or third down, you're not doing it from, say, third and six, third and seven, uh, or beyond. 14 nothing. your score. Pace was on top or at the half here tonight. We'll come back with some individual numbers in three minutes as we continue with our halftime report brought to you by your circuit court clerk, Douglas Ray Hall on WMDJ Sports. Hi, Kenny Rice here for A-Plus Roofing and Exteriors. Are you needing to improve your home or business exterior? Let the pros at A-Plus Roofing and Exteriors help. They specialize in roof replacement and will work with your insurance when it comes to wind or hail damage. A-Plus Roofing can also replace or repair gutters and siding. They have over a decade of experience to handle your job correctly and efficiently. Contact Travis Francis for a free estimate at 606-791-4226 or visit A-Plus Roofing K. KY.com. That's A plus roofing and exteriors of Hazard and Lexington. Come and see us this month at Hutch Ford. We have brand new models starting as low as $21,990. We also have some great one of a kind pre owns to choose from. We want your trade. You bring your car, you bring your title, and leave with a check. Give us a call downtown Paintsville, 606 789 5301, or check us out on the web at HutchFord.com. Patriot Army of Prestonsburg is your RV headquarters and more. In fact, we are authorized dealer for Club Car Golf Carts. Club Car is America's premier line of golf carts, and you'll find a huge selection in all styles and colors. There's 0% financing available for 48 months for qualified buyers. Patriot RV, US 23 in Prestonsburg. I'm Brandy Bradley. My mom just want me to do the right thing even when it's hard. As Floyd District Judge, addicts are not going to get a slap on the wrist. If you get busted with dope, you've got a problem, and you're either going to sit in jail or get help. Real recovery takes time. You can't walk 40 miles into the wilderness and walk 5 miles and get out. As a public defender, I have seen every trick in the book. I'm not just on the ballot. I'm on a mission to make a difference. But I can't do it alone. I need your help. If you're as fed up with dope in Floyd County as I am, show up on November 8th and vote Brandis Bradley for Floyd District Judge. Paid for by Brandis Bradley. 
Hello, this is Brandon Spencer, Republican candidate for state representative of the 95th District of Floyd and Pike Counties. Can you imagine one football player trying to win a game by themselves? They would never get anything done. You must have a team working together. That's why I'm asking for your vote on November the 8th. I can work with Senator Rand Paul, Senator Mitch McConnell, and Congressman Hal Rogers and the Republican-controlled House and Senate. With your vote, you'll have a team working for Floyd and Pike Counties. Paid for by Brandon Spencer. This is Senator Clark Clark, Mother Shea Hall, with my message to all sport athletes in Floyd County. It's been said that others may have more talent than you, but remember, there's no excuse for anyone to work harder than you do. Remember that every champion was once only a contender. Be confident, take risks, and know that failure and injection are the first steps to success. Good luck to all Floyd County schools from the Circuit Court Clerk, Mother Shea Hall. Live and local, there's only one WMDJ. Back at the half, your score, it's Paintsville 14 and Floyd Central nothing on the Hutchford.com scoreboard. Some individual numbers first for Floyd Central tonight. On the ground, led by Blake Adams with 32 yards on six carries on the evening. Eight yards on three carries for Max Martin. Three yards on four carries for B.J. Peterson. And three yards on a pair of carries for Bryce Stacker. Also, Sheston Johnson had one carry for three yards. Max Martin, one of two passing for 50 yards. A catch made by Brody Buck near the end of the first half. On the Paintsville side tonight, it's been mostly all Harris Phelps, the senior running back, 15 carries, 81 yards, and two touchdowns. One on the opening drive of the game with 6.46 to play in the first quarter. Made it 7 nothing after a Carson Holbrook kick. And then with 24 seconds to go in the second quarter, Phelps punched one in on a six-yard run. The kick was good, 14 nothing there. And, of course, uh, the other numbers individually for Paintsville outside of Phelps. You've got A.J. James with three, three carries for 17 yards. Justin Ramey, a pair of carries for seven yards. Grayson Peters had one carry for... We'll get that uh, individual number again real quick. Grayson Peters, 17 yards, and then also on one carry. And A.J. James uh, passing tonight for the Paintsville Tigers is two for four with an interception on the night and 40 yards. So that's the numbers here tonight for individually for Paintsville. And uh, Austin Allen with that one catch, 18 yards. Connor Fugit, one catch for 22 yards. We'll come back with some scores from around the area in three minutes on WMDJ Sports. When you need to know about your medications, it's important to know your pharmacist. Chris Howard, Tiffany Jacobs, John Newsom, and Terry Castle, and Howard Family Pharmacy, your community health mark pharmacy, will always take time for you. And it's more convenient now than ever to fill your prescription. Simply use their free mobile app or log on to howardfamilypharmacy.com. Quality care and service, where it's always about family. That's Howard Family Pharmacy of Allen and Eastern. Health Mart, taking the time to listen and care. At Elijah Wireless, there's a plan to make your life simpler. It's called Forward Pay. No contract, no credit check, no problem. Plans start at $19.99 a month and include unlimited talk and text. Add 3 gigabytes of data, $29.99 per month. 6 gigabytes, $39.99 per month. Or take it to the max with unlimited data plus. Just $89.99 per month with 50 gigabytes of high-speed data. All the features of post-paid service without the long-term commitment. It's Forward Pay because we are you. We are Apple Elijah Wireless. Data plus, close to 1 megabyte per second. That's 50 gigabytes of use. Lag is the bane of all gamers, so make that annoying experience a thing of the past with the blazing fast internet from Gearheart Broadband. We offer speeds up to 1 gig, so you can game, stream, surf, and shop on multiple devices without slowing down. Get started now at imctv.com or give us a call at 606-478-9406 for more info. Remember, better broadband means better lives. 
Want to know the secret to a healthy smile? You won't find it in a bottle. The secret is found in simple, everyday brushing, crossing, and regular checkups with Martin Dentistry. Recently voted as the best dentist in Floyd County, Dr. Stacy Martin offers preventative general dentistry treatments and checkups to patients of all ages. Martin Dentistry would like to thank their patients for their trust and they look forward to serving you for years to come. Call for an appointment, 285-9444. For Martin Dentistry. Hi everybody, Dave Baker here for my friends at Total Pharmacy Care. Now in today's world, people like to multitasker. We all think all people, not the folks at Total Pharmacy Care. 100% of their time is dedicated to filling your prescriptions and making sure all your questions are answered. After all, it's your health and you're worth it. Tell your doctor to send your prescriptions to Total Pharmacy Care. Five convenient locations, Pike, Prestonburg, Martin, Belfry, and Phelps. Total Pharmacy Care, it's not just a name, it's a problem. It's the night of Y2K Country with Andy Griggs. You will never be lonely. And Daryl Worley. Good day. Friday, November 4th, Nassau Arts Center. A night with Andy Griggs and Daryl Worley performing the incredible country number one hit, You Will Know Every Member. Tickets as low as $23 and on sale now by calling 1 888 Arts or at MacArts.com. Sponsored in part by the Kentucky Arts Council. Live and local, there's only one WMDJ. Getting ready for the start of the third quarter here tonight on WMDJ Sports. Looking at some scores from around the area tonight. We'll start over in Hazard where the Bulldogs have a 14 6 lead on Middlesboro at the half. Good game between those two schools, Hazard 14, Middlesboro 6. Breathitt County taking on McGoffin County. The coaching debut for John DeRossett in maroon and white, and it's a running clock. Breathitt County 36 nothing at the half. Mm. And that score over in Jackson tonight. Prestonsburg and Betsy Lane, I'll tell you in a minute. <laughs> we'll tease you on that one. Belfry has a 14-7 lead on Pulaski County. That came at the half over at Belfry tonight. Well, you think they went down there last year, and Pulaski County yeah, they did. put it on them. Uh, Shelby Valley had a lightning delay uh, around the Whitesburg area tonight, making area where the school is at Letcher County. Shelby Valley up 12-6 on Letcher Central in the second quarter. Wagoner making a trip up to here tonight. 21-14 over Eastridge. That game is at the half right now. And that Black Cat Bobcat score, it's been back and forth. But right now, Prestonsburg has a 14-13 lead at the half of that game at Josh Francis Field. Can you imagine what's going through the minds of Bobcat players right now trying to get their first win ever against Prestonsburg at Prestonsburg? They've had one win all time, and that was back in the 86 season at Betsy right. Lane. Yeah. Uh, if I'm man, not mistaken, oh Betsy Lane fumbled at the one going in towards the end of the half as well. Boy, close, so close. They've had their opportunities. And we've seen that here tonight with this Floyd Central team. This game could easily be 14-14, but <laughs> it's not. And you got to shake that off and start things fresh here in this third quarter. As the Jaguars will have the ball to begin this Third quarter of play. We have our stringers down there. I have I have one. We have two actually down there in uh, Prestonsburg tonight giving us some updates, and we appreciate that very, very much this evening. Any final thoughts here for you, Byron? I think Floyd Central has showed some life, but the, they have got to start winning the battle in the trenches here in this second half. When it's come down to a make-or-break kind of play, Paintsville has won the war of the trenches and allowed their linebackers to come downhill and really uh, disrupt the Floyd Central offense. I like uh, Jaden Barger on our chat on the uh, stream tonight. said, we need to push back harder. They keep – Putting the cork in it, and we're left. We're not left with many options. You're exactly right. Yeah. I mean, you got to push back a little harder, open that playbook a little bit. Love it. Appreciate those watching and sharing our video stream tonight. As painful as Carson Holbrook will kick off 
to start this third quarter and a good kick. Boomer. It'll bounce and picked up behind the 15-yard line by Adams up to the 30, across the 35, and down. Nice return again by Blake Adams. That's two dandy returns by him tonight. Yeah, Adams is an electric player. If you can get him in some space and create him some holes, he has got the speed and the ability to get away and get big yards. Sun is gone. We're at night time here tonight and a crisp, cool evening for football here on the opening night across the state for high school football. Our coverage tonight presented by Appalachian Wireless. We are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. It feels like football. Yes, it does. Martin with the eye behind him, and the handoff goes to the second man, and that'll be Adams, down to the 40. We believe that's Adams. Indeed it is. Blake Adams on the carry, his seventh carry tonight. Pick up a four. And that's what Floyd Central wanted to do to start the game tonight was kind of those three- and four-yard runs and control the time of possession. Well, they kind of done it after the first two possessions. And in motion here, and the handoff will go to Peterson, turning to the right side, and he does hit the corner. May have gotten a yard out of that, though. Very and good. Peterson's got some wheels, but Paceful has got some chasers <laughs> that can take you down. Yeah. About a one-yard pickup for Peterson. I was watching the stick, but now the ball is sitting on the 40, so we'll say Half a no yard. gain <laughs> on that play. Josh looks over and says, boys, it's a no, it's a no gainer. Yeah. So third and six, ball at the Jaguar 40 for Floyd Central. Again, the man in motion, they fake it, and the turn and run up the middle by Martin, drug down at the 45. He's a yard shy of what he needed. I think they'll go for it. They went for it earlier in the game at this point. Almost the exact same position. Fourth and one coming up now. This is where you got this offensive line has to get that push right here. And they indeed will go for it here okay. on what is fourth and one. Paints Ball at their own 45. Paints with nine in the box. Maybe trying to draw them off sides. Under 10 seconds to go on the play clock here. First drive of the third quarter. And now the timeout called by Floyd Central. Paints will very disciplined there. Was it going to fall for that? You can see them. They were stacking the box right there. They had basically had nine on the line of scrimmage, one-on-one -on -one coverage on the outside, and the safety playing about five yards back. So we'll see. I think they're going to try to go for it still. I think they are, but I think they wanted to sh kind of show their hand and see how Paintsville right here was going to line up and try to g gauge their defensive scheme right here. Otegar discussing this at length here during this timeout with 9.47 to go, third quarter on the Hutchboard.com scoreboard. Floyd Central one for five in third down situations tonight, one of five. And now we're in fourth down situations. So, hey, we're 0 for 1 in that. We've got two, to the, we got tr two out wide here closest to us and single coverage on that far far side away from us. And here. that sawed off pistol with Adams and Thacker behind Martin. Takes the snap, handoff to Thacker, gets the yard and falls forward for a Jaguar first down. Made that look pretty simple. Well, and really you put you you ran three receivers out more of a distraction to get the uh, two yard gain there because you stretched the defense out. You had to make them respect it, and they couldn't leave nine in the box on top of you. First and 10, ball approaching midfield at the 47. Again, the first drive of this third quarter for the Jaguars, a 14-0 score, painful on top. And they'll go to the wishbone. We've seen, seen this once tonight, and some confusion, but the keeper for Martin takes it left and goes down. 
I really think that might have been a busted play in Martin at the last minute and said, I'm just going to keep it and made something out of nothing there. I'll agree to disagree with you. As I think Martin was the intended carrier the whole time. It looked he, like the whole thing was going to go to the right in the end. It's a misdirection play to get Martin in space, and Paintsville done a pretty good job staying home and not biting on the fake. Got to pick up a two on that play, did Martin? Important thing is not go to not go backwards. <laughs> so the second down and eight now. Ball right at midfield. Shotgun snap. Martin rolls out to the right, looking to throw. Does, and it's caught by Peterson. First down, Jaguars in Tiger territory. 12-yard gain on the pass. Peterson had to come back just a fudge, but that's fine as Martin makes the throw, rolling to his right. He is now two of three on the night. I let a curl route almost. I like it. That'll set up first down for Floyd Central at the Tiger 39. Clock at 7.47 to go, third quarter. Hutchford.com scoreboard. Tigers on top by two touchdowns, 14-0. First play, keeper for Martin. Left side, got some room to run. First down and more. Chased out of bounds inside the 30. Max Martin showing some wheels here. Hey, that's just an added dimension to this offense that the defense is going to have to account for as I believe Martin went for 12 yards on or 11. Went for 11 on the carry. Give Martin 26 yards on six carries. I've never had two guys, one on each side, flashing yardage at me in 20 years of doing broadcast. You're I, welcome. I love it. <laughs> And you're at 12, he's at 11. I'm like, okay, I'm going to go 11 this time. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Josh is going up. He's, he's throwing up play signals here. Uh, 7.30 to play here in this second, third quarter here. All right, here we go. Give, give it the, the old hook and ladder. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody reading that one? Yeah, the hook and ladder uh, formation here. Hey, we, we've seen that here on this field yeah. for a big play one year. little movie reference, too. <laughs> With the signal, you had to. Hey, speaking of movies, we're going to time out here. 30-second uh, timeout brought in way by Parkview Pharmacy of Many. Pharmacists Valerie Akers and Christy Moore asking you to take time out for your health and visit Parkview Pharmacy on Monday. They'll help you have any prescription needs you may have. I've been watching that movie Home Team. Have you seen that on Netflix? No. I Home haven't. Team. Got Kevin James in it. I'll it's the it Sean out. Payton story. Oh, okay. Where he got suspended for a year. I've not made it all the way through it yet. I'll check it out. It's not bad for a – and it's a, one of those Happy Madison, you know, Adam Sandler produced movies. Check that out. A little, little free plug. That's that's for free for you at home. <laughs> all right. First and 10, ball the 28. Oh, and we got movement. Flags everywhere. Looks like it's going to be on Floyd Central. Will Wells – for the Jaguars on the fall start. And that's the first penalty tonight on Floyd Central, if I'm not mistaken. It is. 20, excuse me, 30 yards in penalties on Paintsville to start the game tonight. And here we go on what is second down and or first down in 15 and not much there for Johnson. Going to the right side. We'll get the spot. Not a whole lot there as Paintsville was ready for that one. Got a gain of one. one. Coach Hager is screaming out one <laughs> on the sideline. We'll make a, a change in personnel here in package. Adams and Johnson both coming out here. Backer bouncing back in. Buck and Peterson lined up to the right side here of Martin in the empty backfield, rolling out right, looking for two men. He had them. Throws it short, though. Caught by Adams and falling down, though. Shy of the stick, but they do move the ball forward. Adams must not went out. I thought he Stayed came in. Yeah. Well, not much there. Back to the original line of scrimmage. About a four-yard gain. So now a third and ten coming up. And 
And again, if, if Martin had looked up just just a hesitation a little early, he had Buck in open field. Buck and Peterson both streaking down that sideline, but wasn't wanting to go to him. Now trips out to the right or left this time, and Martin will look at him. Pressure, though, is coming. He eludes it, gets rid of it, throws, caught by Peterson. And is he in, did he keep it down? He did. Nice job by Peterson going up for the catch. Got a foot down. And a man is down on the sideline for Paintsville. That is Austin Allen down for the Tigers and an official timeout. But that will move the ball up for a more manageable fourth down situation. About a fourth and four coming up on about a six-yard pitch and catch from Martin to Peterson. Yeah, I give Martin some credit there, uh, avoiding the sack of uh, the initial sack opportunity that Paintsville got through that line very well, and he kind of made something out of nothing. Yeah, Grayson Peters at 6'1", 200-pound linebacker coming right at him, and he was able to elude him going to the left. And now three consecutive completions by Max Martin. And when they start hitting off like that, you feel like you could do a little bit more. And now uh, still an official timeout here. We're going to take a timeout, too, on the field. We'll come back in one minute. It is 14-0 Paintsville with 6.30 to play in the third quarter. Back in one minute on WMDJ Sports. Starring Winner. Friday, November 18th, Appalachian Wireless Arena. Chorus Winner. With special guest, Bullet Boys. Appalachian Wireless Arena, Friday, November 18th. Hang on. This is the Community Drug Bank box office or Ticketmaster.com for tickets. Service for Winner and Bullet Boys. Live and local, there's only one WMDJ. Back at Floyd Central High School, Al, that's still in an injury time out here. Austin Allen was hurt on the previous play with Peterson on the reception and was hit and knocked out of bounds. Allen was. Came down kind of awkwardly. Is that what you saw? Go ahead. It, it looked awkwardly to me when he, after he got hit and he landed, uh, he looked like it, he landed kind of awkwardly. So I can't really say, can't say for 100% as there's a lot of bodies across the way in front of me, but it looked like he moved funny uh, once they came down. And still tending to Allen over there off the playing field. So I don't know if they're waiting for someone to come, an emergency personnel uh, to come or not. I'm not for sure because he is off the field. Uh, and there is an exit gate on that side, on the visitor's side here. So um, you could, in theory, take him out that area behind the bleachers on the visiting side if he had to leave the field here for injury. But uh, we are still in a stoppage of play for this. I think he's so close to the field of play that it would be, yeah, it would be in you know, not in his best interest to keep playing. It can't get him stabilized. Yeah, uh, at least without some assistance, and we may be waiting on that for a little bit here. Your score: fourteen nothing Tigers. Six thirty to go in the third quarter here tonight in a game that had been moving pretty progressively uh, all night tonight. And we've only had we, – this is about the longest delay. We had one delay earlier with uh, Bryce Thacker getting a little ill on the field and uh, losing his cookies uh, <laughs> a couple of times. But he's rebounded and feeling better. And that was in the second quarter. Second quarter, yeah. It looks like we're going to come back to action I here. think they've moved him – they've moved him further away from the sideline. I'm going to give a shout-out to Olivia Jane, who's watching tonight on the WMDJ stream. That's Cindy's daughter. Cindy and Greg over here doing the PA addressing. Olivia, hope you're doing good tonight. Share that stream on Facebook. 
Here we go. Fourth and five. Ball at the, at the Paintsville 23, rolling out Martin. Looking, throwing it, and it is incomplete. Actually, tra no, trapped. No, I think he picked it. That's a clean interception on the two, I believe. There's a flag. Excessive celebration. I thought maybe he trapped it, but it was it was overthrown, and the defender for Paintsville was there to reel it. Uh, but did he catch it or did he trap it? I think I he, think he caught it because they have set the ball down at the two. You you are right on that, but there is a penalty following the catch. They threw the ball over his head, unsportsmanlike against Paintsville. And we have the benefit of instant replay because we're watching the stream up here as well. So there you go. Look at you being all smart and techy over there. I seen him throw the ball up, but then I, the side, the guy, on the ref on the sideline is the one that threw the flag. So half the distance to the goal. One, yeah. <laughs> so one yard. Jeez. Anyway. So Painsville does take over after the interception by Martin. That breaks up three consecutive completions for him and a turnover to the Tigers, but their backs against the wall as they're in their own end zone. James quickly hands it off. Phelps takes it forward and simple draw play up the middle. They'll get to the, about the four, maybe five yard line. Just trying to get out of the shadows of your own goal post. Yes. <laughs> three yard pickup for Phelps. We'll mark him at the four, looks like. Clock at six minutes to go. Third quarter play. Hutchford.com scoreboard. 14-0 Tigers on top with the football in the shadows of their own goal posts, as you just said. Pace has been pretty conservative tonight uh, in terms of a first game. Of course, they have a tough schedule. We had mentioned to start the year after this week, they will be going to uh, Beachwood to play. And then they host Pikeville. Somerset and Knox Central. That's some easy games. Yeah. Handoff not going anywhere there as Floyd Central contains the corner edge that time by Justin Ramey, a 5'9", 160-pound senior. So no gain on that play. Now a third and seven. Boy, get a hold here. Hold him up. I get think, a stop. I think they might have gave him one. I think the ball's on the five. He fell forward. They'll give him one. All right. So, third and six. Big third down right here. And we're going to talk about it. Timeout call, Paintsville. 4.41 to go here in the third quarter. Third and six when we come back at their own five for Painsville in one minute on WMDJ Sports. Come and see us this month at Hutch Ford. We have brand new models starting as low as $21,990. We also have some great one-of-a-kind pre-owned to choose from. But we want your trade. You bring your car, you bring your title, and leave with a check. Give us a call downtown Painsville, 606-789-5301, or check us out on the web at hutchford.com. When it comes to keeping your home cool this summer, don't sweat it. Right now, Elliott Heating and Cooling is offering six months, zero interest. And off no the and off to Phelps as we come out of the timeout quickly here, and they'll get one on the play. One-yard gain, fourth down coming up. Paintsville not going to try to do anything sneaky or tricky, but a two-touchdown lead, didn't get anything they like. They'll be punting out their own end zone for the first uh, time in the second half. That's a great stop by the Floyd Central defense right there to really push back and not allow Paintsville to get any kind of yardage and momentum right here. So Phelps on the carry for one yard. Here's the punt by Paintsville. It's high and will die. Almost touched the Floyd Central player and now rolls to midfield. And Paintsville finally downs it at the Tiger 49-yard line. So Floyd Central with half a field to go. 
before they can get maybe hopefully their first touchdown on the evening, trailing 14 nothing. But, again, they get the stop. Don't give up any big plays. Although, Paintsville was able to get that stop against Floyd Central's offense on the can't, previous drive. There, can't so. have the penalties. I mean, yeah. obviously, the penalties really set Floyd Central back on their last drive. So the Jags take over here essentially at midfield. 3.53 to play in the third quarter. Hutchford.com scoreboard. Raise Paintsville 14, Floyd Central nothing. And again, man in motion behind Martin. Fakes it, keeps it, looks, throws it down the middle of the field and caught by Adams at the 25, 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Jaguars. There it is. And the lead is almost in half here. And a big score by Floyd Central. Bam! Tough action for that. <laughs> That'll get this crowd excited. Hey, give Adam some credit. He had to go, really go through two defenders from Paceville to get down there. Yes, sir. Adams with a great individual effort to catch it and then get away from two defenders. I'm going to tell you something. If you're scouting at home, Beachwood, Knox Central, Pikeville, whoever watches this later on a replay, Houston, you got a problem in Paintsville with that secondary coverage. <laughs> Floyd Central going to kick here. We're kicking on Beaver Creek. No, we're not. Wait, get the T set up here. Peterson, I, I got faith in Peterson here. Oh, well, they blew the whistle. I thought they were going to yeah. call something. I watched Peterson. He can kick it. That was a Gearhart Broadband touchdown. Better broadband means better lives. Gearhart Broadband. The snap, the hold, the kick, it's up. It is good. 14-7, Paceville, 3.40 to play, third quarter, Hutchford.com scoreboard. Back in one minute on WMDJ Sports. Hi, everybody. Dave Baker here for Citizens Bank. You want to love your car even more? How about putting extra cash in your pocket each month by refinancing with new low rates at CBK? It's fast. It's easy. All you have to do is log on to wearecitizens.bank. Hi, everybody. Dave Baker here for Citizens Bank of Kentucky. You know that old saying, the time is money? Well, it's true. How about putting extra cash in your pocket each month by refinancing with new low rates at CBK? All you have to do is log on to wearecitizens.bank. Loans are subject to credit approval. An equal housing lender. Member FDIC. Community Trust Bank is pleased to announce that all of our branch office lobbies are now open during regular business hours. We remain committed to the health and safety of our communities and are committed to maintaining a safe environment for both our employees and our customers. The drive through at all of our branches remain open during regular business hours. You can also make an appointment with our staff by calling your local branch. For location, hours, and phone number of your local branch, please visit our website, ctbi.com. Community Trust Bank, building communities built on trust. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. Live and local, there's only one. WMDJ. Back at Floyd Central, 14-7 your score on the Hutchford.com scoreboard as Floyd Central takes it for one play. And the kick was good by Peterson. And it's 14-7 your score now on the Hutchford.com scoreboard. We have a man on the fit down on the field for Paintsville. And I believe that's Austin Allen again. That's down for the Tigers. And this time, though, he is being picked up, and he'll be helped off the field this time. That young man's been giving it all he's got here in the last few minutes of this game here tonight. So Floyd Central will be kicking off to Paintsville, trailing by a touchdown with plenty of football time to go. It's a dramatic change from the previous couple drives of Floyd Central's of five plus minutes and a lot of ground and pound, one play in the air, and here we are. Well, I think we have found what Painsville's struggle could be on defense, and that's secondary coverage. And if they could give Martin some time to make a throw, this could be a different ball game here in the next quarter in three minutes. The temperature in the room has changed. <laughs> yes, it has. Just getting that first initial score breakthrough, bam, reward this defense for the work they've done tonight. 
And now you got to try to contain them because let's see how Paintsville reacts here after giving up that score. Peterson with the kick, and it's a good one. Backing back to catch it at the 11-yard line. The Tigers up to the 30 quickly, 35, and down around the 38-yard line. A nice return by Peyton Adams, the 5'8", 135-pound junior for the Tigers. So with 3.30 to go in the third quarter, Paintsville takes over actually at their own 39 for the sake of accuracy. 29-yard return. We've seen good returns on both sides tonight. Yes, definitely. At their own 39-yard line, Paintsville takes over. One man backfield with Phelps. In the spread formation for the Tigers here as James comes up to mark out the play, now drops back in shotgun. Will take the snap, hand it off, Phelps up the middle, breaks the tackle, gets the first down into Floyd Central Territory across the 45. 17-yard carry right there for Peterson. 18, or Phelps, I mean. 18 carries for Phelps tonight. He's had a huge evening so far, and he's over the century mark at 102 yards. Of course, has a pair of scores. Oh, for a turnover right here. James from shotgun standing at the 50. Looks, keeps it, throws it over the middle, and incomplete. Pass intended for Allen, and it goes incomplete. Stops the clock at 2.47 to go that in this good, third quarter. That was a good pass. from Slant. It was a nice slant, nice pass. Uh, the receiver just dropped it. That's a break for Floyd Central they need to capitalize on now. They get in the spread for Paintsville here. It will be second down and 10. Ball at the Floyd Central 44. Man in motion, and it's a jet sweep and a handoff to Allen. Turns it left side, breaks the tackle across the 40, spins, and goes down near the 36-yard line. Shy of the stick, though, for the first down, so we will have a third down play coming up. Eight yards on the carry. Jace Martin, Jacob Johnson on that tackle for Floyd Central. And an eight-yard pickup by Allen. And what is more than likely four down territory here. Let's see if Coach Hoskins wants to do anything different or just give the ball to Phelps. At this well, point, when you have an athlete like Phelps, this is where you give him the ball. Yeah. He could dance his way for a yard or two, at least. Fumble. Oh! And a maybe a recovery. Let's see. No, Paceful keeps it. Wow. Almost got that turnover we needed right there. Almost. Wow. Whitehead says, run that clock. And, again, a little confusion on the handoff there between Phelps and James, nearly recovered by Floyd Central. But, but now a fourth and six coming up instead of third and one. That's a four-yard loss right there. So that is a big break for the Floyd Central defense. And now Paintsville has to come back and respond now. Ball at the 40. They need six yards for a first down. Shotgun formation. Man in motion. And keeper throwing the flat. That's caught by Allen. Gets by a tackle. Gets the first down across the 30. He beat Jace Martin on that right side. Couldn't get to him in time. Got a great block. Got the first down for Paintsville. 12 yards on the pitch and catch, I believe. Ball moves down to the 28. Calm under pressure. The senior, James, that time. Good execution. And we're under 42 seconds and ticking under a minute to go before the end of the third quarter. Play clock is rolling, so we will get a play here. At least one more before the end of this period. Shotgun for James. 
When man backfield takes the snap, handoff to Phelps. Gets behind a couple of teammates and gets down to the 25-yard line. About a three-yard pickup that time for Phelps. And the third quarter will come to a close. Your score at the end of three, it's Paintsville 14 and Floyd Central 7. We'll come back second down and around six to go. In Floyd Central territory, we'll come back for the fourth quarter in one minute. It's our Appalachian Wireless Game of the Week on WMDJ Sports. Are you tired of buffering and long load times when watching streaming videos? Gearheart Broadband provides the speed you need to make that a thing of the past. With speeds up to one gig, you can have the bandwidth to stream, game, surf, and shop on multiple devices without slowing down. Find out more or get started today at imctv.com or give us a call at 606-478-9406. Remember, better broadband means better lives. I'm Brandon Bradley. My mommy taught me to do the right thing even when it's hard. As Floyd District Judge, addicts are not going to get a slap on the wrist. If you get busted with dope, you've got a problem, and you're either going to sit in jail or get help. Real recovery takes time. You can't walk 40 miles into the wilderness and walk 5 miles and get out. As a public defender, I have seen every trick in the book. I'm not just on the ballot. I'm on a mission to make a difference. But I can't do it alone. I need your help. If you're as fed up with dope in Floyd County as I am, show up on November 8th and vote Brandis Bradley for Floyd District Judge. Paid for by Brandis Bradley. Live and local, there's only one WMDJ. Ready for the fourth quarter. Your score, Paintsville 14, Floyd Central 7. Tigers looking to respond after giving up their first score of the night on a 49-yard pass by Floyd Central. From Martin to Blake Adams to put the Jaguars on the board there late in the third quarter. Down in Prestonsburg right now, Betsy Lane has a 19-13 lead on the Black Cats with 3.24 to go in the third quarter. Dylan Williams, a 90-yard fumble recovery for a touchdown for Betsy Lane. My goodness. Special teams makes, makes the big difference. 19-13, Betsy Lane, 3.24 to go in the third in that game. As we resume play here to start this fourth quarter right now. Hand off. Phelps on second and seven. He'll bounce his way down. Right, that'll be a first down. Move those chains for the Tigers. He's down to the 16. A 10-yard pickup there. And we'll get his total yards here. That's... 114 yards now on 20 carries on the night for Harris Phelps and a pair of scores. First and 10, now in the red zone for Paintsville. Trips out to the left. One man to the right, one man backfield. Phelps again gets the call. Right side gets a block and goes out of bounds inside the 10-yard line. But shy of the first down, but a nine-yard pickup on the ground there for Phelps. Looks like Phelps and this painful offense is starting to run everything here to their right, the left side of the defense of Floyd Central, and it's starting to gash them just a little bit. Well, now at the seven on what is second down and about one, James. Shotgun, hands it off again. Phelps up the middle. He'll not make it in yet. Gets it across the five, though. So first and goal around the one coming up now. That was a six-yard pickup by Phelps. And this is what happens when you have a guy this talented. You just give the ball to him and let him go to work. Well, give the give a little credit to the offensive line for well, absolutely. getting some holes, but he's making some guys miss, too. Yes, he is. This line has responded better tonight than I thought they would based on what we had heard. Your scouting report? Yeah. So much for that. <laughs> First and goal at the one. James under center. Wheels hands it to Phelps. Dancing, looking for a hole. And I don't think he's uh, there. He's short. He is short. 
Did not get in. Keep on knocking, but you can't come in yet. Second down and goal coming up. I don't know how he didn't get in. The nose of that football looks like it is touching the goal line. <laughs> Just from here. We'll see if they just simply try to push the line and do the keeper here with James under center. I will say James could almost fall across. Fullback Kane Grimm is the end. They'll hand it off, and it's a touchdown. That was Phelps. Grimm, as soon as I saw he entered, <laughs> he's going to make the hole, and he did. He pushes through. Tigers get a touchdown. It's 20-7 to Paintsville now with a 9.37 mark. Third touchdown tonight by Harris Phelps. 11 play drive. That went 61 yards. Looking to put toe to leather on the extra point attempt. Holbrook puts it up and it is good. Paintsville 21, Floyd Central 7, 9.37 to play. Fourth quarter back in one minute on WMDJ Sports. Patriot RV of Prestonsburg is your RV headquarters and more. In fact, we are authorized dealer for Club Car Golf Carts. Club Car is America's premier line of golf carts, and you'll find a huge selection in all styles and colors. There's zero percent financing available for 48 months for qualified buyers. Patriot RV, US 23 in Prestonsburg. This is Senate Court Clerk, Douglas Ray Hall, with my message to all student athletes in Floyd County. This one said that others may have more talent than you, but remember, there's no excuse for anyone to work harder than you do. Remember that every champion was once only a contender. Be confident, take risks, and know that failure and injection are the first steps to success. Good luck to all Floyd County schools from your Circuit Court Clerk, Douglas Ray Hall. Live and local, there's only one WMDJ. Paintsville to kick the football away here. Back up by two scores now, and the kick will stay in bounds. And up for it was, I believe, Adams. And that's Peterson. Kind of came up and robbed that one from Johnson and gets it down to the 39-yard line. Sheston Johnson was standing there, and all of a sudden Peterson says, I'll take it. And went Thank down the sideline. And it's it's kind of like that, uh, remember that old play of Ken Griffey Jr. coming across and taking a fly ball from his dad? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's kind of what it his was. His dad's like, don't ever do that again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you understand how many rings I got, young man? Yeah. You know. More. Another man down for Paintsville, and that is Kane Grimm for the Tigers here, but looks like he'll be all right. They'll help him up. Get him on his feet. So the Jaguars have pretty good field position here. 21-7, 9-26 remaining on the Hutchford.com scoreboard. What's well, been a good game here tonight. And that game in Prestonsburg is going to the fourth quarter with a Betsy Lane lead at 19-14. What did we say the other day about letting the underdog have a lead or be close in the fourth quarter? It comes down to individual playmakers. Yep. And you'd feel pretty good about Betsy Lane's chances if it's close in the fourth. Yep. Mm -mm -mm. Down two scores are the Jaguars here. they got to hurry things up on offense. 9.26 remaining. And a handoff to Thacker. On the the turnaround misdirection, and the fullback gets it for a pair. That's two yards for Thacker on the carry. Max Martin tonight is four of six passing for 121 yards and one touchdown and one interception tonight. Martin right now from shotgun. Hands it off on the sweep to the right by Peterson, and he'll not get around the edge. That's not been there tonight. Paintsville's got too much speed. So you'll get a gain of two, maybe. 
Yeah, maybe two. Give, they're giving him two. It's up to the 43. So a tough third and six here. Come a little bit more predictable at this point. Well, now the secondary has to be ready for a pass because we we're seeing trips out to the left now. And Martin's shown that he can hit some guys when he needs to. All a distraction to give Martin a lane to run. Rolls out to the left. Pressure coming. Looking, throws it. A wounded duck, and oh. it's broken up. Boy, oh, Cheston Johnson. He was there. Was coming back for it. It hit him in the chest. Yeah, just couldn't reel it in. And fourth down coming up. Somebody over here on this line just got whipped and get made Martin, Martin have to throw that awkwardly and in a hurry. Yeah. Well, you know, Martin, when he's rolling out, he's rolling deeper and deeper. Yeah. And not rolling like an option quarterback where he may try to run it by moving up. Well, he's got to run backwards to get to away. To, he's not getting any help. He's <laughs> giving him some protection. They're going to punt, looks like. All right, well, looks like punt formation and... It's straight up in the air. And not a whole lot there as it takes a painful bounce back to midfield. And the 46, I believe. The punt that time was by Matt Little. And it will now be painful ball near midfield. 21-7 with 7.43 to play. On the Hutchboard.com scoreboard, Paintsville on top, and they'll have the football here. Paintsville has only had a, a lead of two touchdowns for much of the night. Floyd Central cut it to a one-score, one-possession game at the end of the third quarter, making it 14-7. And now the Tigers have a game in hand right here with two timeouts remaining and seven minutes to go on the clock. And a handoff to Phelps. They'll keep this on the ground the entire drive. Phelps will bring it up to around the 50. Four-yard pickup for Phelps. They'll be in no hurry here. They're going to – Floyd Central is going to see themselves in the mirror right now on this drive. Yeah. This is going to milk the clock right here and leave zero to very little time for Floyd Central to even run any, play, any kind of plays. Second down and six. Two men back with James from shotgun. He'll take the snap in the uh, pistol. Hands it off to Phelps. This side, right side running, gets the first down and takes it forward, gets hit and down finally around the 20-yard line. Boy, he just kept running up that turf. It's a 30-yard run on that. And this defense is gassed. Yeah. They, they, they've they bent a lot tonight, and I think they're just on the, the end of the tank. Well, you've seen a bunch of guys playing both ways, too, mm -hmm. and that's taken, taken a toll. And we're going to get a timeout called by Floyd Central. 21-7, it's painful on the timeout. 21-7, your score is 6-19. Wait, 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 wait. No timeout. We're playing, okay? Raise the roof is all I've seen. <laughs> That's what he did. I, I do not know that that one. I'll have to all right. brush up on that one. We'll stay with it here. First and 10, ball at the 20-yard line of Floyd Central for the Tigers. Handoff, this is Ramey this time. And he goes for seven. Into the red zone here. Ball now at the 14-yard line. Clock down to 5.32. We appreciate you joining us tonight for opening night of high school football here in Floyd County. Floyd Central and Paintsville in their first ever meeting tonight in the Armed Forces First Responders Bowl. 
handoff. Again, Ramey gets the call, met by the wall, and down. Matthew Little met him behind the line of scrimmage. Peterson in there as well. No gain on the play. If you manage two stops right here, give yourself a little bit of hope. The time is not on your side. We're down to 437. And like we said, Fainsville will take every second they can. Me personally, I think you get a stop, take the time out, and try to get the ball back on fourth down. Uh, save save a little time that way, maybe. Oh, confusion on the snap as James and Harris hit each other. Allows the defense to get back for a sack. I think they picked up a yard. Forward Leading. progress. Uh, mm. If I'm looking at it, they've got him marked at the 12. Well, they hit each other in the backfield, <laughs> and they did give him forward progress. That was a generous spot. They're going to kick a field goal here. So a field goal attempt here by Holbrook with 342 and ticking in the fourth quarter. There's the snap. The kick is going to be no good. So the defense stops, 21-7, 337 to go. And turnover to Floyd Central. We'll come back in one minute on WMDJ Sports. There's only one WMDJ. Pass complete on first down by Martin to Peterson and now on the ground for second down and one. And it'll be a first down Jaguars down to the 39-yard line. A 10-yard pickup that time by Sheston Johnson, his biggest carry of the night. And the clock stops to move the chains and set things up. An official timeout as the White Hat is asking for a timeout. Something on the field. A side judge from the far side running out, picking something up. First and 10, ball at their own 39, but 2.46 to play, down 21 7 of the Jaguars. And now a timeout, Paintsville. We're just going to stay right here. Now this timeout with 2.46 to go. Don't forget, take timeout for your health and visit Parkview Pharmacy at Mini where pharmacist Valerie Akers and Christy Moore have been helping you for a long time over there on Left Beaver. Take time out for your health and visit Parkview Pharmacy at Mini. 21-7, I've seen crazier things with 2.46 to go, but uh, you got to get a couple big plays. got to get some big plays. A turnover gotta, and a chance. That'll you gotta, give you a chance. Got to score, get an onside kick. But, I mean, the good thing is you still have two timeouts to – to burn right here. And we'll see what happens out of this. Uh, they got to get a score first. That will be the big play uh, to happen here for the Jags. With 2.46 remaining. We appreciate all those who have watched our online stream tonight. And, again, great work by Josh McKinney on uh, on-site production. Matt Johnson on the camera tonight. We hope you've enjoyed our presentation of high school football here on WMDJ and on FC TV, Floyd Central TV. Here we go. With 2.46 to go, it'll be first and 10, Floyd Central at their own 39-yard line. Shotgun snap for Martin. Back to about. He's going to keep it and be down in the backfield. That's a sack. 
Credit that one to Tyson Jenkins, senior for the Tigers. A loss of one on the play. Clock down to 222. Back to pass again. Martin guns it down the right sideline and is almost picked off as he overthrew his target, Adams, and Austin Allen just could not reel it in. That was a clean pick right there for Allen. Uh, fortunately for Floyd Central, he dropped it. Yeah, Allen had two steps on Adams, and the ball was overthrown, and it was right there for Allen to pick it. He just could not reel it in. Clock stops of 2.11 to go, third and 11 coming up. Jaguars check the uh, play call. And they'll line up with straight eye formation and the shotgun. And back to pass. Actually, it was a pistol. Now over the right side, throwing Martin. And that is caught by Buck. He'll get the first down, and I think he got out of bounds. So 12 yards on the pickup by Buck. Give him 13. 13? He got, he got to the 49. Two catches by Buck tonight. Had that one for 50 earlier in the biggest catch he's had in his young football career, at least in my memory. And now first and 10 ball just across the plane into Paintsville territory at the Tiger 49. Buck's a big target out there now. He is. Jags will keep it in the air here, trying to move downfield quickly. Two-minute drill time. <laughs> Martin flushed out, dumps it off. Adams in the flat, catches it, takes it upfield, gets out of bounds across the 45. Smart play by Adams there. And a good decision quickly by Martin, who says he knew he didn't have anything else to do. Found the open man on the safety valve and took it out. That almost looked like a design kind of way. You've seen all the defense get back there, more like a little bit of a screen. Six-yard pickup. Adams just didn't have nobody out there to block for him. So now a second and four coming up. And back to pass is Martin in the spread formation. Got a little time and decides to run it instead and gets out of bounds. And I don't think he got the first down either. I think he's short, but how much yardage did he gain, if any? We're going to give him two. So Martin gets two on the pickup. And now a third down and about two. Coach Hager barks that play out. Sheston Johnson, the lone setback as they go to the spread. Back to pass, looking. Safety valve as Johnson takes it, and he'll not get the first down. He only got to the 40 and took it trying to go towards midfield and not going to the sideline. It's only one yard on that pickup. And you have two timeouts, and you're not burning them here with 1.23 to play. Martin will take the snap, hand it off, and they'll get across the 35. And now do you take the timeout? I, I, did I see one referee wave it like they did take a timeout? Well, the nope. clock didn't stop. They moved the chains. I don't. Nevertheless, why not take a timeout? 53 seconds. So they do get the first down. Martin to pass. Got some protection. Now wants to go out of bounds. And that's a loss on the play. It's a loss of four. Should have just threw it. You're outside the tackle box. Yeah. 
clock at 42 seconds. And I know that at this point you're kind of practicing for other situ- – well, you're, sp- you're practicing for situational football here, okay? Yeah. But they're not handling this situation very good. Two timeouts, and nevertheless, you've got to at least try to get that score. Martin with four men out, throws it over the middle, and that's caught by Peterson. 20, 15, 10, on his feet, touchdown. So Peterson gets the touchdown with 35 seconds to go. Is there a little hope? You got to get an onside kick. A Gearhart Broadband touchdown. Better broadband means better lives with Gearhart Broadband. Thirty-eight yards on the pickup, on the pass, and here comes the extra point attempt. And Peterson has to get his win to kick it. <laughs> Bless the, his heart. The kid has done everything tonight, and he has on the Floyd Central side. He's done a lot tonight. Here's the waiting for the snap. There it is. Kick is up, and it is good. We'll stay right here with 35 seconds, 21-14 is your score now on the Hutchford.com scoreboard. Baseball on top, and you know the onside is coming here. This is the – you could argue this might be the most exciting play in football right here. <laughs> well, and you have two timeouts left <laughs> if you do recover it. So, somehow uh, they got that in. And uh, Peterson made it happen there with a nice pass, nice catch from Martin's pass. Win or lose, it's been a good showing for Floyd yeah. Central tonight. Win or lose. They've played well. Yeah, overall, it's been a good showing tonight. And I hope we have this many fans back here next week when the Jaguars entertain Perry County Central. We'll be here. We'll be here. Give it up. We'll name our Community Trust Bank player of the game. That's Community Trust Bank, building communities built on trust. As the Jags set that ball on the tee here. And Peterson is the kicker. Got you got to get it to take a big bounce right here. And there's the onside there it kick. Is. There's it a ball. Peterson got, got it. it. Peterson got it. Peterson recovers the ball as it bounced off a peaceful defender, and the Jags are in business with 35 seconds to go. Holy Moses! Wow! What about that? And wait a minute, I believe that might have been Austin Clark as well who was in there on that. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure Peterson's the one who came up with it. Well, we, I we just missed, missed the replay. It. <laughs> I'm a, I, I would – I well, am really – The big I'm play. 98% sure Peterson got P- it. Paintsville has no timeouts. Floyd Central has two. 35 seconds, 47 yards from getting a touchdown and hopefully tying the game with an extra point back to pass. Martin looking, flushed out. He's going to run it. Here he goes across the 40 to 35, 30 and out of bounds. Inside the 30 with 25 seconds. 17-yard run. Paisel went back in max protect, and Max Martin put it on his feet. Good decision. Wow. If you've hung around for this one, <laughs> you've been rewarded. You're getting rewarded right here. Well, 17 yard run by Martin. And here we go. Back to pass again. Martin, pressure coming. Got to gotta do something. Throw it. And he'll dance out of bounds of 17 seconds. That's a loss. Oh. He lost about three. Had some pressure off that left side. 
Floyd Central with the ball in hand, down by a touchdown, 17 seconds. Ball around the 33-yard line of Paintsville. Could we see the hook and ladder? <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> what a time for it now. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Peterson jogs out, going to get a breather here. He's replaced by Coach Shelton. Back to pass, Martin, 16 seconds. In the pocket steal and brought down. Now you got to burn the timeout. There it is. 10 seconds, timeout, Floyd Central. Ball is now back around the 40. I think they're looking for too much yardage right here. And I, I think they could run some short routes and get some good yardage. Well, but maybe on that play, but now it's 10 seconds. Well, I'm just saying, the, yeah. the previous two plays, I think they've looked for too much for the home run and not the single and double. 10 seconds, one timeout left, and it is third and long. I think Josh wants a triple mixed in there. Maybe. <laughs> hey, look here. Look at this crew. We're not legging out triples. <laughs> no, we're not. <laughs> we're not legging out triples. We're lucky to get the first base. <laughs> Ball is officially at the paint school 39. First down marker, if you're wanting to know, is at the 20. So this is a it's third, third and 19, 19, but you need 39. We need we need 39 yards and six more on that board. And then go for the two and get the win. Go Trips the, out to the left. Go for the win on the road. Tied home is a rule. Well, I know that, but shotgun for Martin. There's the snap. Protection on the left side. Looking, throws it deep, left side, and it is tapped and no good. No, no good, complete. incomplete. One second. It was on. in a Floyd Central's player's hands, Adams, but he was already down on the ground, and it tapped over to him, and there's 1.1 seconds left. I couldn't so see. Top of one play. I couldn't see if he could catch it or not, if, he, if it bounced on the ground or Let's not. Let's see. You can't see. You can't see it. It was shielded by the painful player. Yeah. As we saw the replay here. So we'll take the last time out with one second to go. Well, a great finish here tonight, one way or another. It's been an exciting finish here at Floyd Central. It's time to dial up the Boise State Fiesta Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> Boys, get the YouTube video out. <laughs> there you go. Oh, shoot. If they do the hook and ladder here. I'm begging for it at this point. Yeah, at this point, <laughs> why not? Oh, my goodness. Hit that Music City Miracle or something? Uh-huh. <laughs> Baseball's ready. For them, it's simply protect, protect, protect. I'd, put, I'd almost put 10 in the end zone. <laughs> oh, they're dropping three, four, five. <laughs> they've dropped six men back they've got three on the line yeah this will be the final play of regulation one second snap to Martin throws it hook and ladder there it is Peterson's got the hook and gets down at the 15 and that'll be it the hook and ladder comes up short, and Paintsville escapes with a 21-14 win over Floyd Central tonight on the Hutchford.com scoreboard. 21-14, your final Paintsville with the win here tonight in the Armed Forces. First responders bowl at Floyd Central in a nice game here tonight between these two teams. We'll come back and wrap things up. Also give you our Community Trust Bank Player of the Game Award in three minutes on WMDJ Sports. It's a night of Y2K country with Andy Griggs. You will never be lonely. And Daryl Worley. Friday, November 4th, Captain Art Center, a night with Andy Griggs and Daryl Worley performing incredible country number one hits you will know and remember. 
tickets as low as $23 and on sale now by calling one 888 or at MacArts.com. Sponsored in part by the Kentucky Arts Council. Parkview Pharmacy at Mini takes pride in being committed to the community. Pharmacist Valerie Akers and Christy Moore understand your time is valuable, which is why Parkview Pharmacy offers free delivery service for your prescriptions. The next time you stop in, ask about online refills for faster service and pick up one of those wonderful Candleberry candles. Parkview Pharmacy at Mini, 377-2117. Committed to our community. Community Trust Bank is pleased to announce that all of our branch office lobbies are now open during regular business hours. We remain committed to the health and safety of our communities and are committed to maintaining a safe environment for both our employees and our customers. The drive through at all of our branches remain open during regular business hours. You can also make an appointment with our staff by calling your local branch. For location, hours, and phone number of your local branch, please visit our website, ktbi.com. Community Trust Bank, building communities built on trust. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. Want to know the secret to a healthy smile? You won't find it in a bottle. The secret is found in simple, everyday brushing, flossing, and regular checkups with Martin Dentistry. Recently voted as the best dentist in Floyd County, Dr. Stacy Martin offers preventative general dentistry treatments and checkups to patients of all ages. Martin Dentistry would like to thank their patients for their trust and they look forward to serving you for years to come. Call for an appointment, 285-9444 for Martin Dentistry. Hi, Kenny Rice here for A-Plus Roofing and Exteriors. Are you needing to improve your home or business exterior? Let the pros at A-Plus Roofing and Exteriors help. They specialize in roof replacement and will work with your insurance when it comes to wind or hail damage. A-Plus Roofing can also replace or repair gutters and siding. They have over a decade of experience to handle your job correctly and efficiently. Contact Travis Francis for a free estimate at 606-791-4226 or visit A-Plus Roofing K. AY.com. That's A-plus roofing and exteriors of Hazard and Lexington. Hi, everybody. I'm Dave Baker. From the beginning, my friends at Total Pharmacy Care decided they'd specialize in one thing and one thing only. 100% of their time is making sure your prescriptions are filled right and all your questions are answered. Your health is the most important thing. So tell your doctor you want the specialized care of Total Pharmacy. I can be your locations. Highfield, Prestonsburg, Martin, Belfry, and Phelps. Total Pharmacy Care. It's not just a name. Live and local, there's only one WMDJ. Back at Floyd Central after a thriller tonight here on the Hill as the Tigers hold on for a 21-14 win over Floyd Central. And the game was 21-7 with uh, just moments to go. And Floyd Central under, able to... Under four minutes, uh, I believe. Under four to go. Floyd Central able to get a touchdown late uh, in the contest. Tighten things back up. Had to get the onside kick with, what, 35 seconds, and they were able to get, recover the onside kick. And basically half a football field to go. Got down to the final play, a hook and ladder. They come up just short at the Tiger 15, and Paintsville holds on for the win tonight, 21-14. to 14. Good showing by Floyd Central here on opening night. Yeah, I mean, you got to give these guys some credit. Uh Give a lot of credit to the defense holding Paintsville down. Peterson uh, was running, or uh, not Peterson, but Phelps. We were talking about Peterson being, uh, you know, what kind of a difference maker he was tonight. Mm -hmm. But Phelps, they held Phelps down for the most part. He got he got loose, but they didn't let him break off the big play. He hit some big gainers, but he didn't hit that 25, 30, 40-yard play. Well, that's true. Uh, that's, that's another good point. Uh, he had a 30-yard pickup there late. In the, like his last carry was 30 yards. Besides that, uh, only one of the plays, seven t two 17-yard plays, 14, 11, 10, the rest of them were all in single digits. So uh, they, they contained the big play tonight. That's a big positive. Uh, and we're in the game the entire way, had a chance yeah. to win it. So you, you can't uh, fault the effort here tonight by Floyd Central. And a good, a good preparation game tonight for the season. Uh, you can see the coaches have prepared for this game. Uh, big time, much better preparation this year than the previous two that we've seen in the COVID years, guys in and out and things of that nature. Uh, you can see the difference here tonight. Yeah, I mean, you, you could tell these guys have been here practicing. They've been working. And, you know, at the last couple of years, you weren't for sure if they could, if everybody's going to be here at practice or not. And that's that's hard, 
hard to prepare that way. Uh, Let's, go ahead. I was going to say, you know, you could tell the product on the field showed tonight that, you know, they've they've had time to prepare. They put in some work, a uh, couple little things here and there. Uh, you know, you don't get turned away at the end of the first half. You don't get stopped on a fourth and one down inside the 20. Little things like that can be cleaned up and really make a difference going forward. Team numbers real quick tonight. Uh, looking at things overall, it was a big night on the ground for Paintsville. 39 carries, 222 yards rushing for Paintsville. Floyd Central, 33 carries for 98 yards tonight. Passing-wise, though, Floyd Central, 11 of 16 for 210 yards by Max Martin. That is also a new school record for most passing yards in a single game tonight for Max Martin. That's a record for him. And he done he didn't do it with a lot of passes either. He hit he hit a bunch of big big plays. Yeah, 11 of 16 through one pick, uh, 210 yards passing tonight completed by Martin. A new school record there. Total offense tonight. Floyd Central with 308 yards of total offense. Paintsville with 274 yards. Floyd Central 49 plays. Paintsville 45 plays. Time of possession, 26 minutes just over that for Paintsville. Floyd Central at 25 minutes of time of possession tonight. Turnovers, you had one, one, one. tonight. An interception or one each side. Had one yeah. interception uh, each way tonight for both teams. So they kind of offset. And those are the team numbers. Individually for uh, Floyd Central tonight, just looking at a few numbers here. Rushing-wise, uh, Blake Adams, 7 carries, 36 yards. Max Martin, 12 carries, 31 yards. Sheston Johnson, 4 carries, 19 yards. Bryce Thacker, 4 carries for 7 yards. Max Martin, as we mentioned, 11 to 16 passing, 2 touchdowns and 1 interception, 210 yards. Longest throw, 50 yards to Brody Buck tonight for a big gainer earlier. Receiving yards, five catches for B.J. Peterson, 88 yards and a score. Blake Adams, three catches, 58 yards and a score. Brody Buck, two catches, 63 yards for a score. Those were the uh, numbers there for him. On the painful side, really just one name to talk about, our Community Trust Bank player of the game, Harris Phelps, with 26 carries, 164 yards and three scores for the painful senior, Harris Phelps, he is our Community Trust Bank player of the game. That's Community Trust Bank, building communities, built on trust. Big great, game. Great way to start the season. Big, big game, absolutely. Yeah, you know, Phelps, like you said, outside of Phelps, you know, Paintsville didn't look very, very steady. I think we might have been misled on the offensive line uh, for Paintsville because they allowed Phel uh, Phelps to get those eight, seven, eight, nine-yard carries. And our Community Trust Bank player of the game, Harris Phelps tonight for the Paintsville Tigers, who go to 1-0 on the season. They'll be on the road at Beechwood next week. Tell them what they want, Bob. A uh, trip to trip Beechwood, to Beechwood tonight. Beechwood. That's, yeah, that's where they'll be going next Friday night. You know what? That, I, I, I like it. I, you know, you're playing a perennial power, and you're going and challenging yourself. I like it. Floyd Central is back here at home next Friday night. They'll entertain the Perry Central Commodores. And still looking for that elusive home win for the first time since 2019. It's been a while, but we've danced on the field and had a home win. We almost got it tonight. We'll try it again next week against the Perry County Central Commodores. That's going to do it for our coverage tonight, presented by Appalachian Wireless. We are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. Also, tonight's game was brought to you by Howard Family Pharmacy, the Mountain Arts Center, Hutch Ford of Paintsville, Citizens Bank of, of uh, Kentucky, Floyd Circuit Court Clerk, Douglas Ray Hall, Total Pharmacy Care, Martin Dentistry, Appalachian Wireless Arena, Elliott Heating and Cooling, Patriot RV, Parkview Pharmacy at Mini, Your Heart Broadband, Community Trust Bank, A-plus Roofing and Exteriors, Brandis Bradley for Floyd District Court Judge Division Two, and Brandon Spencer for 95th State Representative. Real quick, got an update from Prestonsburg. The Black Cats have taken a 28-25 lead with just under two to go in the game down there. Prestonsburg rallying. Betsy Lane has the ball in the two-minute drill down by three. We'll see what happens at the end of that one tonight. That's been a dandy down there and a good one here tonight. Paintsville 21, 
and Floyd Central 14. For Matt Johnson on cameras, Josh McKinney on the production here tonight and statistics, Byron Hall on color commentary, I'm Jamie Johnson. One more time, thanks for 21, Floyd Central 14. Good night from Floyd Central. Now we can record a, a recap.